Right. So, so this one time in, in Bandcamp, did you say that too? Cool. You did say that too. I was like, he said it too. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I watched Behind the Mask with Ashley. That was probably one of the funnest intros I've ever oh seen. Oh my god. Any podcast ever. You know what's so funny is that we get a lot of comments about it. Yeah. You know, we've got a few on YouTube. I've been DM'd quite a few, like, oh my god, that was the like, best intro. I'm glad you're changing it up a little bit. I'm like, I'm not. It's like, that it was just, a mistake. That was yeah. a total accident, and I asked her if I could use it, and she was totally down, because she's awesome. That's funny. And I'm like, fuck it, let's do it. And it ended up being the best fucking intro. Oh, I was hilarious. I, I remember watching this. I, I, I watched the episode, right? And, um, you know, it's starting, and I'm like, why is there another dude in the podcast? <laughs> like, what is happening? I thought it was this, I thought it was hers. And then it got into him, you know, your, your date's not until next week, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah, she oh, done shit. goof. But you and I have talked about it. Her life is just so chaotic right now. That yeah, just, I said, let me let me just put it in your schedule. Yeah. It, her life is very chaotic and good for her, though. But that, no, that was a fun episode. That that intro was like, hey, man, that's a good cold open right there. Yeah. Taking some Saturday Night Live. Uh, well, that's, and that's the thing. Is like I wanted Bobby to, was cracking up, too. That was great, dude. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> I wanted to do something. I, I, I've been wanting to do something different. Like, we've done intros. Well, not intros. We've done the... Network intro, our intro, and then it's been like that consistently. It's mm-hmm. been very consistent, and and it's and always do, it's always like we it's the Madhouse podcast, and we're bullshitting. It's like okay, let's do the intro, and we do that, and then we start. Yeah, you but know? then it's gotten to the point to where it's like we I've kind of edited it straight into you know the intro, and then the intro of the person, and then we just get talking, just because we the last few episodes we haven't really had anything that yeah. has been. Intro worthy, I guess you would that's, say. Yeah, that's funny. That's or can funny. Grab, a, uh, grab the. Like, uh, I know in the, the beginning, viewers. like we've had a lot of banter, and that had, and those were really good to kind of put first. Yeah, right. that's that's kind of Which slipped by funny. the wayside a little bit. It's weird. Yeah, it it's like it's, and then it's just kind of gotten straight into just the interview, you know. So it's, it's like that opportunity. I'm like, I this I have to do it. So when I asked her, I'm like, look, I have an idea. It's going to be great. Do you mind if I use that? And she's like, dude, do whatever. So it, it really she's, worked out. She's really open about it. Yeah. I've you shouldn't have even asked her. She just done it. I, 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 don't, I don't know her that well. well I would have said, like, dude, just do it. I know, but I, I like to, you know, because, you know, well, I have respect for people. When, when it's but she would she would have thought I was funny. She's like, oh, my God. And she would have laughed about it. I know, it. but I didn't want her to. I don't know if she's going to so be embarrassed So basically, you say you're a bitch. Shut up. <laughs> so, oh, that's you it. know what though? The next no, nah, it's good. The next episode will be a good one. We're good. coming up. Yeah, got some old school. And I'm well, it's probably it, it might be already thing. out already because this is going to be out. Not next yeah, week, yeah, it might be after, but, but we. I, I, but I won't let you put this. Yeah, we're actually go so, subscribe channel. So out. we're we're gonna be uh, uh we're gonna have a dead week after Ashley. Yeah, and then um, you need a filler. I got you. Which will probably already be we passed can, by I this mean, time. If you need a filler, just, I, I, I will step up to the plate if you need a filler. I mean, it's still... I, or unless you want to take a week off, that's up to you. I, I think I'm going to. Um, I'll just kind of promote past episodes, because at this point, I'm, I'm not going to get home until late Sunday, and I have to work when I get home. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so Mondays are usually the days. And you got to get back to the routine. Yeah. We know all about the routine. The routine is very... It's very important. Right, right, right. Because that was the same yeah, way. As he I, if he does and he gets hangry. Well, it was funny bar. because, you know, you brought that up the last time you were down. And I was like, I don't think I've ever been through that. And then I took my trip to Seattle. And I was like, oh, after a week off, I was like, shit, I got to get back to a routine of, like, having to get up early again and get, get back to my sleeping schedule, getting back to my roots of things, going to work. I mean, regardless, when I went to, I took the extra two days off to recuperate because it was. I came back on a Wednesday. And I was like, well, "Why am I gonna go to work Thursday and Friday?" You know, it's like. So I took the extra two days of vacation off, and uh, the fuck am I work calling? I don't want to talk to work. Yeah, and it's not. It's it's. When I go out of town with the fam, it's not that bad. Right. Because the routine kind of still there. Everyone's with you. Yeah. Yeah, but like when I come down here by myself, it's. Like, I, my routine gets all fucked up. Or the kids kind of, like, lost because they're, like... I stay up late. Yeah. I, I sleep in, for, you know, for the most part. Yeah. I, I do whatever I, I want, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's it gets a little... It's a little it's a little harder. A couple days is not a big deal, but if I'm, like, gone for a week, which I haven't been for, like, 
two years. Right. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> <Yeah>. why. <laughs> yeah. um, then it really gets difficult. But. Yeah. Well, you work from home too, don't you? I do. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you're around the kids all day. Yeah. Well, do, are they in school yet? Uh, my, yeah, my son just graduated, and he, he's in a special education class for because okay. um, he has social anxiety. Yeah. Um, but they were like, he doesn't need to be in this class, so he graduated. And I love he's social like, anxiety. I love the special yeah, kids. Every work time you see me, he's head me right in the shit. Not only are they just the nicest time. kids, but like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, these guys are fucking. These guys are gonna change the world. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, super smart. Oh yeah, I, I'm talking. They just to these have kids. social issues. You know? Yeah, that's all it is, and that some of them can't. Con- some of them have anger issues. They can't control anger, and, and they have aids that help them calm down. But they also I, yeah. can't control. They can't sit still. Yeah, that's a lot of them can't saying. sit still. He yeah. can't sit still. Yeah, and that's the reason why he was in this class. Yeah. But then he goes in this class, and he, and they're like, he doesn't need to be in here. Yeah. But he finished it up. Graduated today. Well, you know, two weeks ago, and um, so yeah. So um, awesome. two weeks ago. Yeah. Well, I mean that's when it's been here. Yeah, <laughs> two weeks ago. Um, so you gotta think of the future, man. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> think of the future. So I like it. yeah. So no, that's that's cool. I I, I think that's uh, yeah. Routines are important. You ever you have a morning routine every day too, don't you? Wake up, up, checks off. Looks yeah, his tip. Sounds about right. Looks his tip. Depends on the day of the week. Wake up slowly. Do my thing. Get up. Get changed and work out, and then get any of my morning stuff. Get done. it going, huh? Yeah, get any of my morning stuff done on my laptop when I what I need to. My Speaking of morning routines, I've recently uh, started drinking coffee like full time now. Oh wow! I drink coffee almost and it every was, day. It, it was accidental. Really? So uh, every day since Monday of this week, starting Speaking this week, of, I want coffee right fucking now. Coffee sounds good. Cool. Make, make a pot. Maybe I'll just go turn on the Keurig. Yeah. I don't have a coffee pot. It's or a Keurig. Make, whatever. How you believe it. I go to Circle K. So. <laughs> <laughs> I go to Circle K. It's about as good as a Keurig. Oh, it, it's, it's way cheaper <laughs> than Starbucks. It's like a dollar Dude, something ma- cup. McDonald's oh. coffee is pretty fucking good. It actually is. I, you know, so it was accidental because my... my um, so, like, usually when the school year is going, my coworker, we're, we're I mean, we're really tight with the lunch ladies, so they always hook it up with things. And they always make pots of coffee, and he so he'll go fill up his coffee. He brings coffee when he comes from work, and then he'll go fill it up again. Well, they're not, it's not the normal people that are there for the summer school, so they're not making coffee. And uh, he always, so Monday he was like, hey, dude, can you go do a coffee run for me real quick? Because Circle K is like down the street from my work, mm. so it's perfect. He's like, can you go do a coffee run real quick? I'm like, yeah, I'll go. I was like, I, I might get an energy drink if that's cool. He's like, yeah, that's fine. Get whatever you need. And I was like, all right, cool. So, um... I was full intended to like buy like Powerade or Gatorade just to keep me awake, and uh, I pour the first cup of coffee in, and it came out kind of like if it had creamer or something in it already. I was like, oh, he likes his coffee straight flat. So I, I get another cup, and I'm like, I'm almost certain I pressed that button, the medium roast, the house blend, um, and then it came out the same way. And then I looked at the cup afterwards, and it sizzled, and it was black. I was like. Well, I guess I'm buying two cups of coffee today. <laughs> so then I just me because I don't drink mine black. I, I like to add. The creamer and the sugar. So I do five creams and I do some sugar. And that's been my week. So you like sugar, not coffee. <laughs> yeah. It's more like, can that's I get, can I get Starbucks. some coffee with my sugar? That's what Starbucks is. It's just sugar. Yeah. There's no coffee. But no, I mean, it's, I don't know why I've been, it's been, it's been nice. It, it, it's, it's like in the morning when I get there, I'm like super fucking tired. And then I drink my coffee and I get my second wind. And like I'm ready to work, like I'm in work mode, like I'm moving shit, like I'm, caffeine, bro. yeah. And then by like twelve o'clock, one, that's when the caffeine it just dies down. And I'm yeah, done. So, yeah. yeah, that's been that's been fun to experiment with, because uh, I, I and he knows this. I, I've never really been a coffee drinker in my life. I just never liked it. But for some reason, this week I just every day I've had a cup, and I'm just like. This is weird. Is this gonna start something new, or yeah. <laughs> do I gotta start buying coffee for the house to have it on the weekends? Well, see, or? What you're gonna do now is you're gonna have your coffee and you're gonna slowly reduce the amount of sugar, and you're gonna be just creamer, and then you'll slowly remove the creamer and it'll be just black. Do you drink it black? I drink it with protein. Oh, so, yeah. I've I never heard of that. Yeah, I have a pro- thing, I have huh? a protein that's a uh, it's a vanilla caf uh, cap. It's, Cappuccino, vanilla cappuccino flavor. So they make protein creamers just for coffee. It's a powder. It's just it's protein, protein powder. powder. Oh, okay. It's just a. It's coffee flavor. The only thing that oh, sucks okay. is so, not all protein powders melt in, in hot coffee. Yeah. And it gets clumpy. No, I hate that shit. Mine's yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I just put, all I do is I put uh, a scoop of that and then that's it. That's coffee. And I just protein. do creamer with my coffee. I do like uh, caramel macchiato creamer or something. But you can drink coffee and then go right to bed, can't you? Yeah, within an hour I can go go to sleep. Yeah, like it doesn't keep you yeah. awake. And I'm, I, I, I feel like that is the same with me because it's the same like, I could drink a fucking cup of Mountain Dew before I go to bed and I'll be all right. Uh, but I just love, I think because I just love Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah. It's in my system. Who doesn't? <laughs> Mountain Dew's delicious. I, I can only drink it once in a while because it fucks my stomach up. I, I think the, hands down though, and I think a lot of people agree with me on this, the best flavor is Baja Blast. Nope. Uh, I like Code Red better. Code Red. Uh, no, I, I think you're, I think you're right. Baja Blast is so good. I think Baja Blast is good. It's I think it's good because it's exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, it's the blueberry. You yeah. know what though? Honestly, the original Mountain Dew is still my favorite. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, Don't yeah, get me wrong. But you know the original Code Red is really good too. I'm not going to knock Code you know Red. You the original Mountain Dew is made out of? Made what? with? Cocaine. Yellow fried. Orange juice. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Do yeah. they do they just scrap that completely it's orange, or? It's orange. No, it's it's still they still make it. It's still yeah. That's, oh, that's part cool. of that's that's part of the flavor. That's cool. I don't think I gotta really pay attention now when I drink. Just like, <laughs> look at look at the back. Have you tried the watermelon Mountain Dew? Yeah, that one's pretty good. Yeah. It's They're actually flavored. really refreshing. Their flavored ones, all of them, are fucking good. Yeah, even they, their um, amped, yeah. their energy drink yeah. is really good. I drink. Um, I just don't drink sodas that much. Yeah, and when I do, it's like Sprite, yeah. Sierra Mist. You know? Mountain Dew Gain Fuel. That was like their sports, esports, energy drink. Uh, That's really good. Too. Is it? Yeah, it's really good. I uh, I bought some because the streamer that I watch, he's like sponsored, and I was like, I'm gonna try that. I like Mountain Dew. Let me see how this Gain Fuel is. Pretty good. Suckered into the sponsors. You know, like yeah. the Zoa Energy drinks that The Rock puts out is the best I've ever had. I haven't had those yet. They're good. I haven't had yet. I want to try the pina colada. And maybe because yeah, I, it's just maybe because I have a. Is, and they do, they do 100 calorie and zero calorie. I haven't had yeah. either, but maybe because I just have a hate love relationship for The Rock. The orange, the orange is good too. That's the first one I had. He's the man. Um, but no, it's like because it, I, however he's had it manufactured, whether it's zero crash. Bang is a distant second to that, but there's there's no there's yeah. no crash with Zoa. Like when you taper off, you taper off, and you don't. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's and it, it just tastes. Hear good. that, Sammy? No crash. Zoa. So that's what you're gonna be drinking all hot season when you're down here. <laughs> uh, no, it, it's because uh, the reason why I say I have a hate love relationship with The Rock is because um, it's because of one film in specific, and that's Hobbs and Shaw. Uh, really, you didn't like that one? That movie was. From the trailers, I didn't. I never seen it, and I didn't. Well, want then you, to you can't really judge it. Yeah, yeah, I can. Did you, Idris, you watch? Idris yeah. Elba dropped that line. Look at me, I'm Black Superman, and I just, I just couldn't help but laugh because you're, you're supposed to take him serious in that part. And I'm just like, okay. It was a fun movie. I liked it yeah, better. It was entertaining. Than, I liked I just, it better than any of the Fast and the Furious. Movies. Oh, I don't like the franchise. Minus the first one. The first one. It's so okay. I don't. I, yeah. I think because I just don't like the franchise. And I've seen all the Fast and Furious. Well, just I just like the cars that they put in those movies mostly. I'll watch them because of that. I just feel like they separated so much from what the movie premise was about compared to where it is now. I, I give them credit for being able to create a franchise that fucking lucrative. Yeah. But it just kind of went off the rails. And it's it's what the way I see it is, it's the less interesting version of Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible is ridiculous in the sense of like stunts, but it's they're they're good movies. I can't, yeah. <laughs> I can't say this about the Fast and Furious crew. I can say this about Tom Cruise though. Motherfucker does his own stunts. Yeah, he yep. does. And it's beautiful. Yep. And that's what makes those movies so real. Right. I mean, right. why uh, you've seen Top Gun already? Yep. Dude, Maverick was legit. Beautiful. I want to see it. Perfectly it shot. Perfect film. Yeah. I, I still think it's... I want to go see it To again. me, so far, that is the... So far, that's the best movie of the year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That honestly might be the best movie in the last decade. How there's there's a lot of good movie. movies, but I think what just won me over was how it was shot. Well... How that worked in Val Kilmer's part was perfect. Yeah, that was so perfect. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, it was... It was... Um, it's probably one of the top ten best sequels ever made. Oh, Oh, hundred percent. Probably sequels. top five. To be quite honest, better than Empire. It's better than I think. Is is just fucking perfect. It is a perfect fucking of, film from top to bottom. Speaking of sequels, I almost had it. I actually uh, Wednesday, um, and I didn't get to do it because I was busy filming with Sammy and Lucio. Um, that day, but I should have postponed, and Lucia would have understood because he literally told me, he's like, dude, if you would have told me that, I would have just been like, oh, yeah, go for it. <clears throat> I had an opportunity to see an early cut of John Wick 4. Oh, oh really? dude. 
and then Block of Orange because I get I get so I'm I'm signed up with this email group that you can preview the movies for right. free, right? And the only reason I, I was I was hesitant about it and didn't want to do it is because it probably wasn't finished post production wise. Yeah. And I have seen a movie where, um, like I, I saw early. I've seen I've seen two of those. I've seen an early cut of when they did the Americanized version of The Grudge, which was horrible. Um, and then I watched an early cut of Zombieland Two when it came out, mm-hmm. and the CGI wasn't finished on that. And the cut that I saw compared to what was released, I think they ended up in the in the first cut, in the beginning sequence where they had like the music montage, it was Enter Sandman when I saw it. Uh, when I watched it again, it was For Whom the Bell Tolls. And I was like, Enter Sandman kind of worked a little bit better than For Whom the Bell Tolls. I mean, they're, they're still great songs, but it, it's things like that what, what kind of interests me though, because I was like, now I kind of want to see this what it looks like finished and what the final product's going to look like compared to what I saw. Yeah. Um, for the most part, other than that one change, everything else really stayed. You know, it was just cool to see it. So uh, that was the thing about John Wick Four. I was like, <sighs> the Wick, but, the Wick, but it's movies like are fucking great. They, they are phenomenal, and they, if for some some reason they figured out the formula to make each one better than the last. Right. I don't know how they do it, but they figured it out. I'm like, you need to take notes, Hollywood. That's how you fucking do. Sequels. It's funny too, because some of the the over animated motions he does, like when he cocks his gun and the way he looks at it and does this, like, dude, you'd be dead. But it's cool for the movie. It's Keanu Reeves. Like the way he's he, the chosen one. Like the way he, <laughs> the way he, you know, loads his shotgun or the way he cocks his forty-five. You know, I like it's that. Cool. I forget what it was. I think it was John Wick two or three, when they're casually having that silence gunfight in the fucking subway. He's just like, <laughs> I remember. I remember watching that and I looked at my cousin. I'm like, if you were in the, if you were in that subway, you don't think you'd be like, did you just, did he just, what? <laughs> Um, Even they're silent, you still make a noise. No, you still hear it. Yeah, you like if you're walking, you're walking, and that was a packed subway. Like yeah. if you were walking by, you would hear that silent. You know, you'd hear it. You'd be like, "What the fuck was but that?" You hit a slide on the gun. Yeah, that was still a fucking cool scene. That was cool though. He was just like they were just casually walking, like, and I was like, <laughs> "I was like, kill common, uh, keep common out of films. I have an issue with him. And I think it's just for the fact that every time I see him in a film, he plays the same role. I'm just like." Keep Common out of films. I don't want to see Common out of films. I like him in um, Italian Job, though. I don't think I've seen that one. Dude. Wait, Italian Job? Who, which, what's the character? What's his name? Commons? Who the hell is that? What's he's the rapper, Common? He's, he's the... I don't even know who the fuck that is. Have you seen Suit? Oh, Su- you're talking about, like, in Italian Job, Most Deaf? That most, one? Oh, that's Most Deaf. It's Most Deaf. Yeah, Common. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Um, but anyway, yeah, I had an opportunity to see John Wick 4. I didn't do it, but... I kind of want to wait for that to come out because I'd rather see it complete than a rough copy of it. Yeah. Because basically they do these test screenings to figure out ratings and to see, to get a, 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 an opinion as to how the film looks so they can change it up. Yeah. And, and they can kind of figure out their target range of, of age and audience of yeah. who's going to come do it see it. They do it on faith in it, that's why. Yeah, dude, the I car, have, the car that you had in the Wick films, like that Mustang. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't kind of, I'm kind of scared after I saw Matrix Four though, and I was really looking forward to that. I was like, Resurrections. Yeah, dude, yeah, I was, was like, oh, dude, Matrix is coming down. back. It's gonna be good. And then I saw it. And I was like, this is not a fucking Matrix film. This is, I don't know what the fuck this is. Yeah, that was so stupid. Um, and so like that's what scares me about John Wick Four. However, I don't feel like the they don't they wouldn't fuck that up. I feel like they'll. They, there's still story to do there, and they set up some good story. Well, that story can go for a long time, you know, because they set it up to where somebody's the the organization's constantly going to be. Well, they were supposed him. to do a show based around the organization. It was going to be called the Continental. Mm. It was Stars was supposed to do it, and he was. I don't know if he was going to be in it or if he was going to have like a cameo in it, but it was going to focus on that hotel. Uh, and now I'm hearing they still want to do it, but it's not going to involve him. It's going to be a prequel. Where it's going to show how that hotel started and, and how it became an assassin. It's going to be the story of the hotel. Yeah. That would be cool. The yeah. building of the, the, the organization. Yeah. yeah. So I think that would be a better show. Because yeah. that, that, I mean, when you think about that hotel layout, it's like, it looks like a normal New York hotel, but it's got all these underground, like, secret clubs and bars and stuff. And I'm like, that would be pretty bitchin'. I would like, and you're going to see whatchamacallit's character younger. What's his name? The the guy who, who ran the hotel. Yeah. He's a great actor. I forget his name, though. Yeah. I know you're but talking I, about. I love his voice. He guys always plays good, good roles. He plays a good villain too. Um, but yeah, I, I think where it left it open for John Wick three going into John Wick four is we're gonna obviously finally get that team up reunited, uh, re, re, then reuniting with uh, Morbius and Neo. We're finally gonna see that. I mean, we've seen it, but it wasn't complete like team up. Now we're actually gonna be like, oh, they're gonna team up and they're gonna kill people. And I'd watch out because 
I've seen what they can do in the Matrix. Let's see what they can do in John Wick 4. <laughs> Although Lawrence Fishburne is not where he was when the Matrix was made, so. But he's still a great actor. I haven't seen. And you got that new movie one. coming out, too, the, the Black Adam. I'm so ready for that, dude. Uh, I have faith that that's going to restore the DC Universe alone. You think so? Well, The Rock already came out and said, I'm 100% committed to this character. I'm 100% committed want to do more things in the future of this character, and I want to help bring DC back. Well, the thing about The Rock is he's 100% committed about everything. That's the reason why he's The Rock. So it's kind of hard to take his word on that. And well, he's successful. You know, it's funny. I just saw the does. trailer, and it's just... I saw it too. Well, it's just corny as fuck. I, I, I'm excited for it because the, the team that they're using in there is the Justice Society of America. And I'm me being I'm a DC nerd too. So <laughs> see, if you're a DC yeah. fan. No. Cool. I'm to, not. See, to see Pierce Brosnan. I don't know. I don't know. What's his name? Pierce Brosnan as uh, Dr. Fate. That character is so badass in the comic. And I was like, man, to hear that voice as Dr. Fate is going to be so amazing because he's got such an amazing voice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and they're bringing in a lot of characters they never have and to see Black Black Adam though has been in the talks since they did Man of Steel which came out like what 2013 yeah, a long 2012 time. he was actually a producer on Batman v Superman and Justice League because he was that committed to who? Dwayne uh, no one I don't think a lot of people know that but like I remember one time watching Batman v Superman and, and Justice League and it said executive producer J Dwayne Johnson I was like uh, he shouldn't be oh too, shit he, sh he shouldn't be too proud of that why? because it was garbage that may be super. I'll defend that movie. I will defend that movie to the day I die. It's <laughs> because you're a diehard Batman fan. That's DC exactly fan. what it is. DC fan. It's DC. it's hard when you're you're bringing in these. I just comic I, trust me. I have my issues with DC. I really do because every time they make a decision regarding the the cinematic universe, I'm like, you guys need to stop fucking around and go with the initial plan you guys had in store. Which was to do solo character movies of each member of the Justice League, leading up to a final Justice League film. Are you which, mean, like introducing the characters? That was their. That was doing. Yeah, that <laughs> was their initial plan. Like, yeah. You know, that was what they were gonna do. And and Justice then, League just came out well, it's, instead. It's because the Avengers were doing so well. And, yeah, and they, they rushed the it. Avengers were doing better than the solo movies. They they saw that and they're like, let's just put them all together. But yeah, that's the thing. It's. It's like comparing apples to oranges. It is. It's well, exactly that's the thing, and, that and I feel like DC needs to take and, and Discovery is coming into, you know, with that Discovery Warner Brothers merger, and they're supposed to be. I guess they're really taking over a lot of things, and they have big plans with the DC universe. They're like, they even realize this is a clusterfuck. We want to get someone like Kevin Feige to kind of organize this better. You know, it's yeah. like, and you know, it's funny. I just read the other day, Kevin Feige during the production of Age of Ultron almost quit to go to DC. That's how stressed out he was with Marvel. And Disney, wow. and I was like, man, the possibilities of what ifs that could have been. Yeah, but the shit he's doing now, it's like, what the fuck, man? You're not liking a lot of the stuff they do now. Fuck no. So, example, uh, which things have you not liked? Miss so Marvel's a prime fucking example. Really, you didn't like Miss Marvel? See, for me, the trailers didn't catch my attention. It's it's. But I love the way it's shot. Wait, the one on and Disney I love the right I love yeah. some of the effects in it. It's just like, I've never really, especially that scene, I won't say too much, but the scene where they're talking on the phone together and you see all the emojis, I'm like, that's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever really seen anybody do something like mm -hmm. that, you know? That, that's more of a Japan style thing, you know what I mean? Like Japan, when they do animes and movies like that, they really, that's their thing, so to see them. But I think it's cool because it's more of a coming of age story, and, and I feel like a lot of people will relate to her character because a lot of people feel this way in society, where... You know, because they're a different race or religion or whatever, they feel like they're outcasts and they have to follow what their parents tell them or whoever is in charge of them tell them. When in reality is, is that you? when in reality is, all they all she really wants to do is just be a normal teenager and just like you know fit in with everyone. I do like the actress though. I, she's very I, she's I, very I, talented. I'll give her that. She was yeah, she really um, surprised me. Yeah, she 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 is very compelling, mm -hmm. um, but. Yeah, I, 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 I gotta give it more of a... I, that's how I feel with She-Hulk right now. Oh, like, god. oh god, the CGI oh just god. looks horrible. It's just the idea is horrible. I like the character, but the character... I, I don't know why they took a comedic approach with it. Like, okay, maybe do like every Marvel movie. Make it serious, but have some comedy here and there. One-liners. Yeah, you know, that's what like made when, like, Avengers like and when, stuff good. Like when like, Captain America says, language, he's like... And Tony Stark's like... No one's gonna acknowledge really the fact language? that he just said... Language? Like, and, but that see that worked, you know. And the rest of the movie wasn't the entire movie wasn't like that, you know. It was like here and Sorry, there. Sorry, have it. Yeah. Well, it's like I I I uh, I watched I was I was late to go see 
I overslept yesterday, and I was we were a little late to see Jurassic World, but we came in during the trailers. So like, my friends kept texting me like, "Where you at? Where you at? Where you at?" And I'm like, "I'm on my way." So we got there, right? And they're like, "Where you been?" I'm like, "I'm here." And I dropped the I dropped the Tony Stark. I'm like, "Waiting on you now. Let's go." <laughs> and we walked in the theater, and it was. But you know, I get I get what you're saying. I mean, I think um, I think what they're doing with Disney Plus. It's a good thing to introduce more characters at a much more taking their time rate. Mm -hmm. Whereas, it's more budget friendly too than on the big screen, I think. Well, they, they said that they're going to use the same style budget like they do with the movies. They're just spreading it out based on, I think more episodes are more budget than others. But basically what I'm getting at is I, I like this because for me, when you introduce a character, and especially in the MCU in the past, it's like, okay... You got a two and a half hour movie. The character's probably going to be in their total screen time of like an hour. You know what I mean? With this new idea of the Disney Plus shows, it gives ideas to expand on new characters to introduce them correctly, to give them an actual origin story, setting up how they got their powers, how their what their influences are in the world. Um, I really wish they would have done something with America Chavez and Doctor Strange, like maybe give her something else. Because mm -hmm. like, you got that brief. It's like I lost my parents because they went to another universe, and I'm like. I want to learn more of where you're from now. They just kind of left that open, you know, mm -hmm. so. You know, it's probably because they're going to do a show. Yeah, probably, down the line. Um, it's an Easter egg. But I get what you're saying. There, it's, I, I don't think it's this one is for everyone, and I, I, I'm kind of hooked on it yet, but it could change by the end of the show. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's the thing. It's like you get hooked on all these movies and shows, but by the end of it, you, it could possibly change your outcome. Yeah. I mean, trailers for Jurassic World sold me, and then I went to the theaters and I was like... Dude, I, I'm looking forward to seeing Thor. Thor's gonna be good. I think that'll be cool. Yeah. You got an issue with it. I can already see it in your face. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of over the superhero shit. Oh, are you? I'm kind of over it. I'm yeah. done. You know, it's like... I like... I like Chris Hemsworth. I like the Thor character. We'll see. I'll still go see it, but we'll, we'll see. I'm not excited about any of those. I think I'm just so invested into MCU and DC this far. It's just like if I back out now, it's like it's, it's going to be all that. I just watch the show. Well, it's like with watch MCU, go what they're designed for entertainment. Yeah, exactly. And, and MCU, you got to think about it. I started in well, I, I mean, it goes back before 2008. MCU started in 2008, you know. And so I was probably that was I was in the fifth or sixth grade when that started. So from then until where I'm at now, that's a big part of my life. You know, and I think that's why I'm so passionate about it because because of the MCU, it gave me new cinema experiences. It gave me what I've wanted to see for years, which was crossovers, characters interacting with each other, char other characters getting their films, and they finally found a formula that they did something right. And I think that's why I've invested so much, and I'm so passionate about it and whatnot because it it is a huge part of my life. Right. I. I I'm not gonna say I don't know where I'd be without it, cause I I do. I'd probably be still doing the same thing. It's just it's like, oh fucking, Sony's doing another Marvel movie. Oh, 20th Century's doing something. You know, it'd be like that still if they didn't do the MCU. But I, it's one of those things where I'm just like, I'm so invested into it that I just can't back out now. And I still gotta give. Like I didn't like Black Widow. I did. I liked again, her. I liked her sister. Yeah, yeah. Yelena. Lawrence Poole. Yelena was dope. Yelena, she was yeah. dope. I just I liked her in. Um, Hawkeye. I, yeah, I don't Hawkeye think was that, great. Yeah, I don't Hawkeye think was that. fun. Yeah, Hawkeye was fun. Hawkeye was really fun. Uh, I don't think it was per se those characters. My issue with it is how they did Taskmaster. And I'm not knocking that it was a girl. I can care less if it was a girl. Mm -hmm. Taskmaster's only purpose in that film was to give the other villain a boost. That was his only purpose in the film because that was his daughter. You find out it's the, the main guy who runs the Black Widow program. He's like, that's my daughter. Mm -hmm. And that was the only reason why Taskmaster was in the film. I'm like, you really did this character dirty. Because right. in the comics, the character is like a, a dope-ass, like an assassin. He's got like this deep voice. And he's got like all these different fighting styles. He can memorize all these people fight. He, they also think he's a mutant, but we haven't gotten that far in the MCU yet. So That was my only issue. It, with that. Other than that, the characters were lovable. They, I loved that's, it. Just, that's just Disney's style right now. Yeah. They're... They introduce these really cool fucking characters, and then it's like, Brent. okay, well, we're, we're, the main story is about this stupid character here. Yeah, you know, like, and I don't care. The Grand Inquisitor is a prime fucking example. He was the only interesting fucking character in the first episode. The only interesting character. Uh. 
and then they kill him off. They did him dirty. Well, they didn't kill him, but they got rid of him, and he hasn't been in the episode, the series since. And it's like it's been two weeks. I'll say this. What did you think, though? I gotta say, I got goosebumps when he went into the Jedi tomb. Yes, that was a cool fucking scene. Because I read an Easter egg, and Mace Windu was in that tomb. Oh, really? With a hand back intact and everything. So I'm curious to see. Show him though. They do really quick. It's uh, very brief, and I don't think it's Samuel. It's just you know they have a person there, but people are like it's it's Mace Windu. Uh, they, they came out and confirmed it, but that opened the door dude, right there. I to, got I got goosebumps when I saw the child. Yeah, that was fucking. And I'm shocked that they. Fucking, yeah, but they technically don't say they're dead. Yeah, that's so, why. That's where the Mace Windu thing comes in theory. I'm like, so how did this work then? Because the last we saw him, he got his hand cut off and then thrown out a window. So I was like, did yeah. someone get his body and... Because I know Star Wars is in the universe, they have stuff where they can, you know, regenerate their body. And we've seen that in Boba yeah. Fett. We've seen that in Star Wars in general. Luke yeah. Skywalker. You know. So did they throw him in that and just keep him in that for a while and then put him in that? Because what my thoughts are is this, is like, uh, they just get up and walk away. Welcome, <laughs> Mid-podcast. Welcome to being with Scott. <laughs> um... My 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 theory on that is this is gonna finally open the doors for them to introduce and set up because I I've, I've heard rumors that they're gonna be doing this the old republic shows yeah, yeah and that is something I'm very passionate about and I and I don't know a lot about but I want to learn more about and um, they were saying is they're gonna do three films the that's the thing I'm looking forward to the old republic yeah 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 I'm just I don't know about you but I'm tired. Of Star Wars constantly having to go back to Mandalorian is a perfect example. I love the Mandalorian, great show. And then the end of season two happened. Mm-hmm. It was a great ending, fucking shocking ending because I wasn't expecting it. But who came out at the end of season two? Yeah, they always have to go back to tying it into a Skywalker, and I'm like, I know there's more to Star Wars than Skywalkers, I, and I get I, that's what the overall story is. But I'm 100. Well, the thing I'm sick of is yes, that. And I'm also kind of tired of them doing the whole family thing where they have to be connected. That's why the whole Ray story is, is bullshit and the I, whole fucking Kylo that whole, story is That bullshit. whole trilogy is bullshit. But the, the they sh- my opinion, they should have never done an Obi-Wan show. They should have done a, Re- a Reba show. This, is their, uh, this was their opportunity to do a new character, yeah. make that character interesting. Imagine this, okay? You completely take Obi Wan out. You might as well take him out because he doesn't do anything in the fucking show. Take Obi Wan and Leia out of the show. You actually might have a decent show because you're you're now and you can even keep um, uh, Vader in it. Keep Vader in it. But the whole Obi Wan thing, I think, was just for them to get people to freaking the, the fans to watch it. But they all they did was just. Piss we'll say fans. though they piss the fans off more. You gotta admit though, the scene in this last episode where he's in the fucking he blacks out that tomb and he comes out of nowhere and just boom. Okay, that was cool. Like okay. it was like lightsaber, then it went dark and like where the fuck did he go? Okay, so yes, visually looked amazing, but why did it take him four hits to freaking chop up a freaking well, stormtrooper? So that's my that is my thing too. Is he's like um, hitting him like a baseball bat? What show we they kind of. I think they finally. Oh, it's because, it's because, he, he it's supposed to be earlier, but he's older and he's lost his That's his ridiculous. Jedi powers, fucking, which is a, stupid. It's supposed to be a it's prequel. It's a fucking saber. Yeah. They put sa- those things through fucking metal like nothing. Yeah. That thing should have chopped those pe- those dudes up. I will say yeah. though, that freaking stormtrooper that fell on top of that beam. Yeah. Holy shit! That was, was great. Awesome. Was that great. was awesome. Probably no, the best thing in the whole show. I think what I like about this too, though, too, uh, and. and Again, I, I'll go down and say this, and I'll say it with confidence: Darth Vader is the greatest movie villain to ever exist, yes. in my opinion, and hands down the most one of the most notable in the world. Um, I think they did a. a it's funny uh, because he's not my favorite. Well, he's. I, I, I won't say. I have two, two. My top two for the Star Wars uh, realm is uh, Boba Fett and Darth Maul. Yeah, that was well, my that, favorite, hands down. I mean, Vader's a good. He's a good character. But, really but I'm is. talking about like um, if. Well, in my opinion, I think he is. But if you look at the the world as a whole, that is one character that everyone knows. Yes, yes. I would say so. Yeah. Popularity wise, yes. Yeah. Popularity and he does wise, have a great story. He, he definitely he has great backstory. He's got a great. Yep. He's got a great story. I, I love though two things about what they did with that character. One, 
they brought back James Earl Jones. Yes. And I'm like, bro, you got Hayden Christensen inside the suit and James Earl Jones doing the Hayden voice. Is, like, Hayden's not in the suit. Sometimes, sometimes he's not. Because <laughs> I, I did watch behind the scenes where he, there was scenes where he's actually in the oh, suit. I Maybe mean, a lot of the fighting he's not. But he's still trained to do that too, though. I think, well, I th- and here's the thing. it's like, okay, we haven't seen the last two episodes yet at this point. I feel like it's going to be a good. I, I, they're out, but. I feel like it's going to be a big, yeah, by this recording they'll be out. But, but I feel we're, like. So at this point, we're at, we, we, the episode four just released. And it was a filler episode for a six episode fucking story where at this point we have gotten nothing out of a story. Nothing. Other than the fact that we know well, that Reva is trying, here's a no. Yeah, here hold on. Reva is trying to go capture Obi Wan. Right. In episode four, she thinks Obi Wan's dead, and now she's trying to find the underground lair for the the the. She's she's reprimanding and, you know, uh, Leia yeah. to give her the information about some underground Jedi lair. How the fuck is Leia gonna know about that? First off, and second off. All of a sudden, you don't care about fucking Obi Wan. I have a theory about her character, though. Of uh, Rios, she got a little soft when she was about to kill Leia. Well, and that tells me so, that that kind of foreshadows. People something. think that she's gonna go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just, I which think, would make no fucking sense. But yes, I, 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 I want to know. Going. For me personally, though, that character, uh, and this has nothing to do with it, but I, I think it's sad, regardless, that people. I think it's sad that people were talking shit about her on the internet uh, outside that, of that. That hasn't, yeah, that's yeah, stupid. That yeah, was and stupid. I think I think that was dumb. And they're going right. I'm like, why do you got to fucking? They it's like the same exact thing when they did with episode eight with that with that one girl, and then she had to delete social media. I'm like, dude, oh, that's fucked flows. up. Yeah, like okay, I didn't like the character, but I don't blame that on her. Right. I blame that on the writing. No, she did her job as an actress. Doesn't that's, that's just bigger people that. Yeah, no, I I, I, I agree 100. percent And I, and I, and I she's and an actress people, doing yeah. her job. People are stupid because they gotta make it. And I have a ton of respect for Ewan because after that it came out, he was like, "The fuck you guys! Like, if you guys don't enjoy the show, then just don't watch it." He goes, "She's a very Who? talented." Ewan McGregor. Oh, Ewan. Oh. Yeah, Ewan. Yeah. He <laughs> came out. He he made a statement. He go. He didn't say fuck you, but in my in my language. Like, but wanna... he basically said it's not right that he goes any fans that are making. Putting Razor are not Star Wars fans. He goes, that is not wrong. She's a very talented actress and a very nice person. Yes. And and you guys are you guys are doing that wrong. But I won't go as far as talented actress. She, she her performance is pretty pathetic. But <laughs> it's partially not her fault. I think it's based on the direction and the writing. I think the director is shit. Yeah. She needs to stop. Yeah. And, and they don't got a, they don't got their, they don't got Fabro. That's why. Yeah, well, I mean, he's even like kind of drink the Lucas Kool-Aid, you know? It's it's Well, because he brought gotten, in uh, Dave Filoni. Yeah, it's gotten ridiculous, you know? He's brought Robert Rodriguez to do the Boba shit, Boba Fett shit that looks like his Spy Kids movies, you know? That whole show was a fucking joke and a half. I like the Spy Kids movies. You completely ruined that's that my, character. That's my generation. <laughs> God, I like that they brought back Dude, those Spy Kids movies back in the day, I was like, dude, I want to be a fucking oh. spy. Hell yeah, bro. Well, you're as you're a kid. If you're a I watch kid, it today and I still, I'm like, these are great like, movies, bro. Fucking Star Wars? No, it doesn't work. That whole freaking stupid bicycle scene what? they did. You didn't like that they brought that. Like that so this, bad that it wasn't. Did, uh, you didn't like that crew? Dude. It's something about, it's something with the new, gen, the new Disney Star Wars and chase scenes. They can't fucking do them. Episode one of Obi Wan is a prime example. That chase sequence was like, what the? Where Reva was doing these acrobatics, Chinese acrobatic. It's like, what the fuck? This isn't a fucking Chinese martial arts film. Like she's, oh my god, it was just so fucking bad. It's oh, not even funny. And the second thing I like about Vader in the show, they went back. They, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. I, I never got to say my second thing. <laughs> they went back to his red eyes. And there, there's only two projects that have done that. Episode 4, the original movie, and Rogue One. And mm-hmm. I really... And so, like, when I went to Star Wars convention, they had Hasbro made the helmet. It's coming out uh, January of 2023. And it was available for pre but you got to see it firsthand. I'm like... And so this helmet is going to be cool because actually, like, when you take it off, it makes the breathing sound effect. Like, shh. Oh, wow. Like, it's, it has all the sound it's effects. It's decompression. That's yeah. Dope. I was like... So my stepdad saw that. He goes... He's a massive Star Wars fan, by the way, and he okay. loved Darth Vader. And he goes, "I got to pre-order that." Yeah. <laughs> and we were in line waiting for the Mandalorian experience because it was like a whole little museum of all the props and everything. And he he's like, "I ordered it." And I was like, "Yeah, you better because you're gonna regret it down the line. I bet you that's gonna spike five hundred dollars on eBay and well, shit." What were they charging for that? 
one thirty. It wasn't bad. too bad actually. That's not bad at it's all. It's part of the, the the black series that they do, uh, and okay. the black series does good stuff. Nice. I was on a hunt for a dark saber, and the most I found one for the lowest I found one for it, the dimension was three hundred dollars, and I was like, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. People could jump up these prices, but I want a dark saber bad. Yeah, <laughs> I want to go around and just fucking go to the ring and be like, what? <laughs> 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 I rule fucking Mandalore. <laughs> No, I think it was with John Favreau's direction of that. That's what brought me back to Star Wars. Because mm-hmm. after the new trilogy, I was like, you, "Where do you go from here? How do you how do you revive this franchise?" And they're like, "John Favreau's doing Mandalorian." And I'm like, "I got little faith in John because he did good with MCU when he started that, but I don't know what the fuck they're gonna tell about this story. This is a whole new original thing." And then I was blown away by it. But that's the reason why. I mean. That sh- like the Mandalorian is the most successful thing We're still since for Star Wars. Since Disney has taken over the year or early next year. Since Disney has taken over Star Wars, yeah. Mandalorian is the most successful and the most liked show. It's because of the child, but but it's also very good writing. But you know that's that was their when they when they <coughs> when they created they weren't stupid. They're like we're gonna make a lot right. of money off him. So, but the fact that. They've gone. They've gone from Mandalorian to Boba Fett, and now Obi Wan. All you're seeing is just a decline. I don't know how I feel about that new Andor show either. Yet I'm like, yeah, I know how his story ends, bro. Yeah, yeah. I can give you the spoilers right we now. We didn't just watch need Rogue his one. character. We didn't need his character. No. We don't need him. Like I said, they Obi Wan is a completely missed opportunity. They should not have done it. Obi Wan. They should have done it. The Inquisitors would have been even better. It should have been a show about them, but it should have, it could have been Reva's story, and they could have had Big Vader kind of guiding his puppets to go and clean up, and it could have just been the story about them cleaning out the rest of the Jedi, and it's you all, got Reva's all. story. That was their opportunity to do their whole Reva story and do it right. Ten episodes, just about her. That's it. She's supposed to be getting her own spinoff show. Well, it's ridiculous because yeah. now no one gives a fuck. Yeah, they fucked up. Yeah. Because her character's horrible. I feel like a lot of what Disney's doing, though, is not even... They don't even care about, really, the writing or anything that much. It's all about fan servicing now. They know the fans will go leave shit and watch it, so they're like, we're going to do it. Yeah, well, I mean, a prime example of that was having the fucking snow speed who's in a fucking rainstorm yeah. floating in... It hurts my brain just thinking about Did it. Did you watch, though, and I will... I will you guys are I will, fucking making my brain hurt. I will right uh, contest to this show. <laughs> there he goes again. You guys are talking. I'm not talking. Jump in. Thing. I've tried. You guys don't shut the fuck up. He's. Uh, <laughs> have you seen the Bad Batch? The Bad Batch was good. I, I watched. Um, yeah, I watched the first. And that's because I was a fan of Clone Wars. Seven episodes. That was another thing I remember okay. growing, growing up as a kid. But to see that group and kind of like, I'm like, oh, they're pretty badass. Like, I'd like to see more with them. It was okay. I, I felt the I felt the girl was unnecessary. Yeah, she that was, that was she just, was kind of just a filler she was just a she was just an object in the way. I felt like they could have made that show badass. And what do you think, Scott? Was that? What do you think, Scott? What do you think, Scott? Oh, really? Was that? Oh, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. No, no, no. You're right. You're, you're right. You're right. It was uh, a good point, Scott. I get you. Uh, yeah, I didn't even think about it. That I didn't way. even think about it. Oh. No, the slider dynamics, right? Yeah. Uh, That's got nothing to do with Star Wars, but you know, why not? Uh, Bad Batch. I it haven't was, seen that. It was a it was a spinoff to Clone Wars. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen it. It's cool. I to me, it felt like a rip off of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. A little bit. So Ninja I was Turtles? like, I was like, eh. Have you watched uh, Stranger Things yet? No, I haven't seen season four yet. I know. I have to watch it. I, I get it. I, you 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 have a you guys you're busy. I just so. watched Dope Sick. What? Um, you watched what? Dope Sick. What's that? Where's that on? It's about the uh, opiates. It's about um, OxyContin, the company that created OxyContin and got sued. Is it a documentary? No, it's a TV show. Oh, really? With Michael Keaton. Really? It's fucking bomb, dude. I'll watch it just because of him. Yeah, it's a... That's why I, that's why I watched The Founder. Oh, okay. Because Michael Keaton, <laughs> Michael Keaton was and I was like, I'm going to watch this. Dude, it's movie. so good. He So basic, so he plays a doctor um, in t- some small town. Um, and he basically he services uh, a lot of minors. Okay. Okay, like for you know back problems, whatever. So when the uh, the the company that released the uh, opioids, um, yeah, they the way they did it was they had salespeople go out and um, 
you know, uh, you know, get the doctors to give out samples. Mm -hmm. Long story short, um, he starts becoming one of the doctors that are prescribing the opioids and opioids to these people, um, and people were getting addicted, you know, and um, and he was just like, no, he's like, no, the, the company says that they're not addictive, but he's like falling, you know, he's drinking the Kool-Aid. Oh, okay. Well, he ends up getting into a car accident and Ooh. fucking his back up. Wow. And he ends up getting addicted. Wow. So it's it, dude, it's so such it's a basically a uh, brain awareness to what the drug, what the pharmaceutical drug world is really doing. Oh, it is a disgusting. Well, and that, but the, like when you watch it, the first episode makes you fucking want to vomit, dude. It's, really. Just because that's what the that's the way the fucking world is. Well, that's the, when I when I broke it's my gross. ankle and got surgery, or before the surgery, they gave me a, a Norcos. Yeah. And the doctor immediately told me the, fir the first thing before I even picked them up. When we were still in the office. She told me the first thing she told me, I want you to take these, but I want you to get off them as soon as you can. Right. And she and I was like, why is that? And They're you know, addictive. yeah. And well, I don't know. You know, I'm just I don't know fucking the world of medicine that much. So I was like, I was just curious. I'm like, oh, well, what, what, why is that? She goes, because. These pills alone are very addictive painkillers, right. and people take them just to take them yeah. to feel numb. Right. And, and she's like, "There's been even been substances where we've had patients come in, ODing on them because they snort them and shit." And but and that's what they they show all that. Yeah. They show basically the progression from when they they release. What what network is this on? To? Who's doing this? Do you know? Oh, Hulu. It's on Hulu. Hulu's, Hulu's it's doing on Hulu. it. Let's we'll check that one out, Scott. <laughs> It's really good. Sounds interesting, actually. I actually, well, I it's it's, what's it called again? Dope sick. Dope sick. It's with Michael. Michael Keaton. It's on in Plex. It. It's on my Plex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it then. Um, Michael Keaton's in it. It's funny because I got the show a while, a while ago, and I never got around. And I forgot that I had it. Right. And um, I heard Lucio talking about it. And I'm like, oh fuck, I want to watch it. And he was talking about it. I'm like, dude, that sounds really good. So right. I watched it because he mentioned it. I keep forgetting so I every time I, I try to track a movie down. Right, it's not as Plex. Keep forgetting to text them. Hey, can you add this? You yeah. know, I always forget. <clears throat> you know, that's, that's the only time people text me. Hey, can you add this? Sure. Yeah. Last sure. time he was here, we we're sitting here. It was probably like I don't know. I midnight. texted you just to text you. Probably like midnight. I got dude. Once a month. And I, I said, you know, I'll, I'll start texting you every day. Just <laughs> <I'll start laughs> go shut the fuck up. Go, go. Nope. Too late. It wasn't important. You're salty or? No, I'm not salty. You Coffee guys are like fucking two year olds. Coffee salty. I know it's creme brulee. Yeah. What I was saying was, we were here. It was probably like midnight one night, and we we're sitting here talking. And I said, and I was looking for an old 80s flick. And I said, bro, how do you not have Vision Quest on your, your Plex? So he says, wait a minute. He's like, okay, it's added. <laughs> <laughs> That's simple, huh? I yeah. my phone, yeah. Yeah. Got it all connected. That's cool. Since he's put it on, I've seen it like six times. It's That's just an cool. old, it's a classic movie for me, you know, from my, from my high school days and stuff. So it's a cool wrestling flick. In other words, he's old. <sighs> Yeah. Dude, he's not far behind. I'm not far from him. He's like four years younger my than me. My body feels it. <laughs> Your body feels like my age. Yeah, it does. It really does. My body does and that's because like I do constant lifting at work. <laughs> I'm just sore when I come home. I'm lifting desk. These teachers don't understand that when summer cleaning happens, empty out your fucking desk. Because then I got to lift this fucking thing and it's heavy as shit. So, I mean... Why don't you I just take all this shit out and throw it in a trash can? I should. So, summer times now, what do you do for the school during the summer? Strip and wax rooms, so basically, uh, it's all clean. All the, all the, we're uh, deep cleaning that things we can't do in the rooms or year round. So like uh, okay. we, we have to move all the furniture out. We get this, uh, it's called, we call it, it's, it's called stripper. So basically, it takes off all the okay. old wax. Yeah. And it, we scrub, we use the scrubber on it, so we can really get the floors really clean, get all the oh, dirt okay. off and everything. Then we throw wax over it. And yeah. It's like. Is it a, uh, I find that very elementary therapy. school. It or is. High school? It is. Laughing? Elementary or high? High school. High school, okay. He works at his old, his old alma mater. I never oh, left. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I never left. Yeah, he graduated. I, I was right the kid, like, there. graduating, like, I'm never coming back to this school. One year later, fuck, I'm back at this school. That's right. You're working here. Hey, on the bright side, though, it's like, I have. I used to be forced to go there. Now I get paid to be there. Exactly. And he gets, he has a schedule he likes. He's not working nights anymore. 6.30 to 3. No, well, it actually got changed at 7.30 to 3.30 for But still. Wow. You're still off before five. You're still off at three o'clock. Well, and, my and, and you it takes you five minutes to get home, maybe two minutes. See, two um, minutes like me driving from two minutes to with here. No, yeah, thirty seconds. Two minutes with no traffic. Five minutes with a little traffic. Yeah, because after school traffic is the worst. Yeah, especially in that area. It's like in a, like a neighborhood. So, like, fuck. Where, where do you live? Uh, down up there, probably Norwalk. Norwalk. Okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, like when I Norwalk. bought this house, when I bought Norwalk. this house, it was strategic because I was still 
we were still putting in long nights and you know getting off at four in the morning sometimes and having a long drive home sucked so having a house right here i get home unpack my shit jump in the shower and in bed that's why i'm at knots more than anything at season because <laughs> i'm like it's in my backyard it's down the fucking street yeah. you know what i mean people are like you should go to Hornet tomorrow i'm like are you gonna pay for the six dollars a gallon of gas well it wasn't six bucks a gallon yeah well yeah. oh, this year though that's the thing, man. I gotta, I gotta put, I gotta start playing it smart for this haunt season. I think this next paycheck, I'm gonna buy a couple of uh, gas gift cards, start putting them away. Yeah. You know, every week I can just use that's one. That's just so fucking sad, though. Yeah, it's crazy. That's so fucking it makes sad. me want to jump on the Tesla game, but I don't have the money for that. Just, just you don't have to jump on the Tesla game. Just jump on the electric car game. I know. I gotta find I don't know, the one I <laughs> well, really I mean, want. They're all starting to come out. It's now. all yeah. moving that way because I keep hearing more and more. But by like by 2030, 2035. Well, by 2028. Every 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 car in California that you can purchase is going to be electric. You can still buy yeah. fuel from out of state and bring it in, but you you won't be able to buy. See, that's my gas thing that scares me too. Is that anymore? Will that alone spike the gas prices? Even if we are not in, where it's we're conditioning. At? Yeah. That's my thought. Is they're conditioning there's us? There's rumors saying that they've spiked. Could them be a good. That's purpose. actually a good theory. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's also there's also theories that they've spiked them on purpose to get people to push to electric. electric. Yeah, they're that's really, what I mean. They're really pushing to get electrics out. I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's con- they're conditioning us to say, fuck this, but th- it's a catch twenty two because when you get an electric car, it's more of a cost up front. You love that word. I'm gonna make you a shirt that says catch twenty two. Yeah, it's more of a cost up front, and a lot of people can't afford that. Yeah, you know what I mean. But well, that's what they're, yeah, Jeremy, hey, you could speak a little bit about this. Um, what is what, what's been for you? What's been the difference between obviously there's a huge difference in, in cost and whatnot, keeping up month to month and whatnot. You don't have to worry about tuning up your car, like putting oil and all that shit, right? Nope. Tesla doesn't have it. It's just I've a had giant my car battery. for four years and I've never serviced it. Yeah, it's just battery, right? It's all I've, battery. I've literally never serviced it. Yeah, the only thing I've done was add a windshield wiper. I did hear though with the battery and, and when your fucking passenger window exploded. Oh uh, well, yeah, my fucking <laughs> it just exploded. Window exploded out of nowhere. What do you mean? It just fucking. It's like a, a fucking bullet went through. Because, what the fuck? Because it's a because it doesn't have a top frame. It's very common for windows that don't have a top frame. It's not a Tesla issue. Which yeah, it's just a car issue. It's a car yeah. issue because yeah, because uh, um, when There's I no researched it, I thought I was like, dude, what the fuck? You Tesla? thought it was a Tesla? Yeah. Yeah. You're like no. I spent all this There's money. Hyundai's, you're like, oh. like all kinds of cars do it. It's yeah. it's because and it's just a fucking sheer freak. Like it's one of those things where it's like the the right time at the wrong time type deal you know where the wind just catches it the inside of that window and it just fucking vibrates it and it just whoosh. so i was Shatters i was driving pieces. to work this is before the pandemic i was driving to work five in the morning fucking cruising at like 78 miles an hour and it just exploded out of nowhere you scared shit scared you like, did you like oh shit it's, well i was an autopilot oh good so no, it didn't scare me. It scared well no, it scared me, but I didn't react because I right. wasn't really holding on to the wheel. But um, yeah, fucking scared the shit out of me. Like, Duh! like a gunshot. I, I, I see. Yeah, I, I was, and that's exactly what everyone. The first thing you think of is like, who the fuck sh- shot my window because yeah. it exploded? But yeah, there yeah. was there was no projectile. There was yeah. nothing. Dude, and fast forwarding to earlier this year, beginning of this year, I. I cleaned I cleaned out my car, detailed my car, right. and I installed a, a subwoofer, and I had to pull my whole car apart. I found fucking glass inside where my battery still, was. Still, and, yeah, yeah, buried still, in there. Yeah. He, he gutted the whole inside of his car just to put in a subwoofer, dude. It was insane. I had to. Worth it. Yeah, he sent me oh, pictures. I'm like, what the fuck? I, I remember he showed me those pictures. I was like, what the hell is he doing? He's putting a speaker. Uh, I respect it then. But I did the same thing. But I soundproofed I everything, music. so like it's super airtight in there. Shit, yeah. No uh, the so one anyways, I, but back to so yeah, like the the it's so I can't speak on any, all electric cars, but for the most part, they're all you as a Tesla, all you're the personal same, but because yeah. I have a, a Tesla, um, yes, it's I've had it for four years, um, and yes, it's a it's a pretty hefty cost up front. It's not ridiculous like how an x or an s is but yeah you know 60, how, much, 000, how much does it cost to replace a battery on those if it ever takes a shit on you for what i from when i first got my car it was thirty thousand. yeah for the battery but i don't know what it's at now yeah, but again so they had but they, again my car was thirty thousand dollars when they first released yeah it. they had a thirty five thousand dollar option yeah that doesn't exist anymore what's yeah, the, what's not the, to mention well, the base the, price is sixty to sixty three thousand yeah i don't even know like that. when he first more. when he first got his 
as opposed to the Model 3s that come out now, all the options that were costly upgrades when he got his no, are all stock now. They're all fucking stock. He, he's <laughs> pissed about it. He's like, this oh, fucking stock. They come stock fucking dual motor. Yeah. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So, yes, it's a big cost up front, but, you know, um, I had a Honda Cross Tour. That car was a rad, 16 too. Gallon tank, a 16 gallon tank. It, at the time, it was costing me about $63 to fill it up, and it would give me about 340 miles. Every two, three weeks, would you say? Or one week? Yeah, about week? a week. A week. A week. Yeah, yeah, about he week. Would, he would. A week, maybe half a week, because I was going to LA and stuff. Yeah. But. And he was living Regardless, in at the time. if you look at it price-wise uh, of the mileage, right. it was 300, 340, 350 miles roughly. To the tank. Yeah. To the tank for about $63. And when I got, that was when I stopped, that's when I got rid of the car. So when I got my Tesla, it was 320 miles. It only cost, at the time, it to only the cost me $15 to charge fully. So you went from roughly about $200 a month to like half that if they literally even that's, even if, that's that. only if i charge a uh, supercharger but right. when i charge at home it's different so how long what's it if you put it on the night before will it go all the, oh, if you charge it overnight will it be a full charge yep ready to go yep. so that's a good like an eight hour charge right yeah there. you're not supposed to charge to 100 percent right unless you're on road trips right but i charge to 90 percent but yeah so yes it takes eight hours to charge charge it to 90 percent so how often do you have to go check are you checking on that constantly then like when you're at home you're like when you're charging mm -hmm. you're like or does that you have a notification? No, because I don't drive my car anymore. Oh. <laughs> I literally barely drive my car. So you don't really have to charge it. So, so you're saying I, you're I saying charge every I charge maybe once every two weeks, two and a half weeks. Right. Unless he's on this trip and he charges twice a run. So the, this trip One I, way. I had a I charge twice coming down. Yeah. And then it'll be the same thing going up. So when you do supercharges when you're doing road trips, how long does it take to to charge fully? It depends. If you're on a supercharger 2.0, to charge fully, it'll take about an hour and a half. To one hundred percent. So you got to say you got to sit around for a little bit. Then. But if it's a three point oh, right, it'll charge the full thing about an hour from if you, depending on where you're at on, on the charge. So the way it works is, I'm at home. Uh, my my drive is about I don't know, is it four hundred miles here? Something like that. Four hundred miles. It's about, it's about a seven eight hour. So I drive from NorCal, mm -hmm. Sacramento area. Right. So I charge one hundred percent. I map it to come to SoCal. Right. And it'll say, okay, cool, stop at this supercharger, charge for, you know, 20 minutes, and that'll get you to the next supercharger. Oh, so it's. Charge for 10 minutes, that'll get you to your destination. So it's a whole computer that just. Oh, dude, it, it is. Oh, it's all mapped up in the system. Yeah, in this it car, is yeah. brilliant. It's, it's basically a fucking game engine. Dude, basically. his car is. His With, car runs off a fucking iPad, essentially. It's a big screen so like this right it's there. It's extremely smart technology that knows it, as long as you know based off of and, it, and it's cool because it, it, it it's it's AI it's based off of how you drive too right so it's like hey if you maintain your speed at 80 you know miles per hour you're not gonna you're not gonna make it to this next destination so you need to drop down to 65 in order for you to make it to your charge it'll tell you like hey you gotta That's slow awesome. your shit down it's extremely smart I've never been in a Tesla tell them tell them what the cops said to you the first time you got pulled right, over right? Tell them what the I have literally is. never driven in one. I've never been in one. I've seen them everywhere. Okay, if you we'll do give me a ride, dude, ride. you give him a ride. You need to hit the gas like you did with me the first time. Yeah. Fucking. So I got to drive in it before his wife did because right. I went with him to pick it up, right? Yeah. We're at a stoplight. I'm not even paying attention. I'm on my phone. The light turns green. He punches it. My head smacks against the head. <laughs> because it has so much torque. So okay, I'll tell you a story to give you an idea. So you know how they say it goes zero to 60, at least mine goes zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds? Yeah. Okay. It actually goes zero to 60, not just from zero to 60, it goes that 3.9 seconds from any range of that speed. Mm -hmm. For 60 so mile. Gap, I was driving yeah. down here once and this douchebag in a truck was behind me and I was cruising at 65. I'm like, fuck it, I'm chilling, man. I'm gonna let my, I'm gonna try and see how far I can go with my battery without charging. I was chilling. I was in no rush. It was over. It was middle of the night. It was like fucking one a.m. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, he and he's riding me, and he's like on my ass, and he's fucking flashing my. The fucker won't even go around me. Why would I was he? in a speed. I was in a speed. I was in the fast lane. So yeah. he's like, trying. Yeah, the one was only like two lanes. Was, yeah. Yeah. So he, he could just do this me. and go around. Yeah. He was trying to get me over, and I'm like, because you flashed me, go fuck yourself. I'm not gonna do it. So he stuck. He was riding me for a good like mile and a half. 
And I finally got to the point, I'm like, you know what, dude, fuck off. I fucking punched it, and I went from 65 to 130 in, like, fucking... 3.9 had, had I been in the car we had, we would have had to do a Star Wars event Chewie know. hit the, the, the light right? speed uh. I got irritated so I'm like fuck this guy and I'm not going to move over so I just fucking took off and I look in the mirror he, I couldn't even see him so I'm like well he'll never do that again to a Tesla <laughs> tell, tell him no. tell him what, the, what when you got pulled over by the cop what the cop said to you at one time which time? Didn't you didn't you say a cop pulled you over and says you, you can't have an iPad? No 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 that that no that wasn't me that was I saw a, a, another guy did it. Oh, he, he did it on YouTube. I thought so it happened to when you. The, when the Model Three first came out, um, the you know the first round of people were getting them. Well, some guy got pulled over. He was a YouTuber, and he got pulled over, and the cop was like, "Hey, you can't put your iPad on your dash." And he's like, well, can you help me take it off? He's like, he was fucking. With he's off. Uh, you put it on. He goes, no, seriously, you can you help me take it off? It, I bought it like this from the manufacturer. Yeah. And the cop was like, he was confused. He's like, this is how the car came. So if you if I can't have this on, you need to help me take it off because I don't know how. Yeah. And the cop was like, what the fuck? He let him go. He yeah. was being a, the guy was being a smart ass. He was being a smart ass. Yeah. yeah. But he was also being, he was being cool about but it. But he was yeah. being legit about it. He's like, I'm, Cops like, I wait, what? He was being genuine because yeah. he's like, I bought it. Th- it's just like when you have your windows tinted or you yeah. get pulled over for a tint. You're like, it's not a fucking came from the manufacturer. So you go fucking yell at them. No, you yeah, you can go get yeah, out of the back windows can be, but like when you do the passenger driver's side roll up. Yeah. Those will, they will never come off the factory lot with the No, they will. But I'm just saying, it's like, yeah. But yeah, it was funny. because So he was being really cool about it. Like, hey, well, if. That's the law that I'm. I hey, I'm all about doing. Like I'm not arguing with you, bro. It's like it's just. But can you help me take it yeah. off? Yeah. Because I don't know how. <laughs> yeah. Can you, in a Tesla? Can you take those off and swap them out or no? Well, they come standard. Right. Well, yeah, you can take it off. Yeah, but it, your won't car won't work. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's uh, the what brain. I'm saying is like, if that thing were to malfunction somehow, you can get that replaced. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you can get everything replaced. Yeah. There. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure they it's, have it. In it's shop. funny. One time I can't remember where, where we're driving. We pulled over. He's like, I gotta hit. I gotta do an update. He hits a couple of buttons and the car fucking updates. Ten minutes later, we're on our way again. Well, yeah, no, it, well, yeah, because when I was, um, I was having Bluetooth issues. I couldn't connect my Bluetooth when we first got when I first got the car. We were driving back, right? And like my Bluetooth wasn't working, so I'm like, "Fuck this, man! If my car Bluetooth should work, so I, I call fucking Tesla, and they're like, "Oh, okay, here, just do this, do that, do this, do that, just update this. Okay, cool, it worked. Let's go." Right there on the fucking freeway. Just yeah. Pulled over on the freeway. Bam. Right his his, yes. his yeah. fucking monitor is bigger than that screen. Oh, I know. I've seen I've seen the monitors inside because yeah. you they're they're pretty noticeable when you pull up to someone who has it. Yeah. And you can see. I'm like, look at this giant ass computer in the goddamn car, bro. I'd be looking like I feel like a cop over here. Like, oh, let me look up some yeah. information yeah. real quick. No, I think that the electric car that's catching my interest right now, and they just they showed at the Super Bowl for the first time. It comes out in 2024. It's the new all electric Chevy Chevy, Chevy, Silverado. Chevy Silverado. Yes. That thing with the whole. And that commercial, I mean, the Sopranos, dude, come on. I was like, they recreated the entire intro. You know, it was so cool. Like, when I, when I first did that commercial, I did a couple of jobs covering the ID Buzz, the new Volkswagen bus, right? Yeah. I've seen that thing in person, by the way. Fuck it. Well, it's, it's out now. I know. It has been. It's but like, I saw it at Star Wars convention because you told me it, and I, yeah. I wanted to get a visual, and I seen it, and I was like, this looks awful. Well, yeah, here's the thing. This, the, when I looked at it, I hated it. Hated it, right? And then I started looking at the, sh- the lines. I'm like, okay, the lines are good. I figured out what I didn't like about it. It was the color scheme and the wheels. Because you know how electric cars always have shitty looking wheels, I don't right? know. Yeah, and I don't, it's so, all aerodynamic, but yeah, I get it. Yeah, so I was looking at it. I'm like, you know what? This would be cool if it wasn't black and red. Mm-hmm. Or black on the bottom, white on the top, because it gives more of the old school yeah. vintage vibe, right? Put some cool rims on it. I'm like, then I drive it, and I found out, dude, the range on the batteries is not even 300 miles. Yeah. That's the it's issue. not good. And it's that's like the issue is that a lot of the electric cars that are coming out that are not Tesla, their ranges are not there. Silverado. But it's only that one on with that. VW. Huh? It's only that one with VW. The other electric cars they have coming out, the range is better. Yeah, but Silverado, I think it's because of the weight. Mm-hmm. Silverado yeah. on a full charge, their new one can go up to 400 miles. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. I mean, is someone going to really do that all the time? No. You're probably going to average about 100 miles for like a week or two. You know what yeah. I mean? Especially if you're driving locally and shit. So. Well, the biggest issue with other electric cars is charging networks. Mm-hmm. There is none. Tech Talk with Knights of War. <laughs> Knights of War, we're talking about fucking electric cars. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, what the um, fuck? 
it, uh, I yeah, like it. It's a good comment. That, and then the other issue is um, operating systems. Yeah. Because um, Tesla was a, is a, you know, they're a. They were able to do the operating system really good. The UI is perfect, you know, um, and they're an engineering company. But when you go to these other, like the Ford fucking UI, the Ford system is Ford so always has, glitchy, has, it's had problems. fucking funny. Ford has had problems since the beginning, though, before electric. They've always had transmission problems. Oh, yeah, yeah, always, yeah. You know, I mean, Ford, don't get me wrong, like, Ford has nice looking cars. Like, the bodies, and I, I'm a huge fan of the Ford Bronco. Mm-hmm. And the new yeah. ones, I think Dude, I think the new ones look pretty bitchy. My actually. mom has a Ford Bronco now. The, the new, new ones? One. Oh, really? But it's look- getting repaired now. Like, I didn't. I think I told you they got, she got an accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Flex got totaled. Yeah. And then she got the Ford Bronco, right? She had it less than a week and she got hit again. Boom. So now it's in the shop getting oh fixed. Oh, my God. Yeah. Right rear quarter but panel. I, I mean, I like, I mean, you look back Looks at like. good, too. Yeah. Like yeah. when Ford, when they did the stuff with Shelby, too. That was a, that uh, was the gold, is that was the golden years of Ford. That was I think their peak right there. After yeah. that, it just I, I, why why is it that they don't reproduce that again? Why don't they bring back that brand? That's easily a well known brand, and they could be making them sports cars again, and they, they would could sell. Have, it could it could have been a contract issue with, with, with Shelby, with Shelby. Shelby. Yeah, with the Shelby family. I mean that movie. I watched that movie again. Ford v Ferrari. It's so good. Yeah, dude. So the, good. the the Ford GT. That car is insane. That thing is so sick. I think Matt Damon just. So, I mean, he's a great actor. But, but I will say, um, Kia's fucking new line, yeah, are they're beautiful. Really? They are by far the best looking cars this year. Really? Yeah, Audi's got some nice them. looking electric vehicles too. All of Ford's out. fucking cars are are they've gone back to the whole boxy fucking look, which is ugly. We see DeLoreans coming back too. Is it? DeLorean's Oh yeah, it's back. called the Cybertruck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, te- that's fucking Tesla, isn't it? Yeah. Are, are they still even? Dude, I'm sorry, really but that, that Tesla truck is awful. Looking. No, they're they're bringing like they're bringing back a whole a whole new electric DeLorean. That's cool, and it's it's it looks similar to the original style, but it's modernized. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, well, good for you, DeLorean coming back. Now yeah. we can finally make it back to the future reboot. There's Don't a, do it though. There's a guy in my uh, in my town that has a DeLorean. It's, just, it's the standard it's the, silver, it's, the titanium yeah, oh yeah, color. It's, yeah. the, it's, the, it's the original fucking DeLorean. See, I like yeah. Ford, but, you know, uh, Back to the Future fucking DeLorean, yeah. It's dude, dope. so when I went to the Peterson Car Museum, cruising around and taking pictures, they have the 24 karat gold DeLorean in there. Oh, wow. I like I cars, but a lot of the ones I like don't exist yet, and they probably will never exist. Like, I want a Tron cycle where I can just open up the damn thing and I just... Oh, you mean go grrr, like that? As I said, yeah. Tron cycles do exist. Well, that means, yeah, open them up like <laughs> One that pops out from your phone. Just like, I could just do a running start and just... <laughs> yeah, which would be cool. That'd be so you dope. You know what, though? There's, there's something to be said about hearing the sound of a combustion engine when you start it up. I uh, just love that. And I think it has a lot to do with because my dad was a mechanic. But I just love the sound of, a, of an engine starting up. I've, I've learned to hate that sound now because the... Your uh, Tesla. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. Oh, because when I he started, it's silent. No, oh, it, ha- it has to do with... Um, it has to do with the hybrids now. Oh. Because when they stop, it's electric. When they go, it's combustion. So it, the engine starts every single time. I, uh, who are they talking? Yeah. They're talking to you about that. Irritating. It's irritating. Yeah. Isn't that? But is that horrible for the engine? You would eventually? think it's, it's probably. Hor- I don't. I don't know or how the transmission or whatever. I don't know how the technology works. Yeah. But it's fucking irritating. <laughs> yeah, you can start it next to a car, and all you hear is. Was your car off the entire time? Right. Like I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm like, what? What? That's what hybrids are. Dude, his old cross tour. It was it was a five cylinder, right? No, six. Six cylinder, but when you go for a certain speed for a certain amount of time, some of the cylinders shut down. So when you're in cruise when you're in cruise control, yeah. it would shut down to two cylinders. To so it's gas. more gas efficient. It was that it was dope. It was really dope. This doesn't even feel like a podcast anymore. I kind of like it. <laughs> we just have a conversation. This is what I want to shoot the shit to always be about. This is how I always envisioned it. Just us with the camera yeah, on us. You know what we should have done? We visited the shoot the shit that we never that never went up because it turned out. I, I was going to bring that up actually today. You remember right. when we and shot we that the last time you were down? With all the smoke and it turned out like shit. It, it was a fun totally time, but it was just a clusterfuck of. Right. Story time. Story, Story time. time. Right, so oh, wait. We were talking about something you were supposed to bring up when you came out here about the, the pop- popular characters and whatnot. Or is that off air? Yeah, w- uh, yeah, that's off air. Okay, uh, that's after. That's after the show. After, so, after. Okay, so after the um, story films, damn, 
Yeah, over, uh, which was a fun shoot, by which the way. was dope. It was, so, it was super dope. Fun <clears throat> walk to the site. Walk was just a bet, but but it was. I think it was worth it in the end. It was. A fun we were. Uh, we our plan was to do a our first live. Um, in person, behind yeah. the mask with Knights of Horror yeah, in person. First, not live, but in person. Yeah. Um, you know, podcast, and uh, it was going to be uh, obviously Knight, Knights of Horror and behind the mask, and we were just going to talk about the event mm -hmm. and then we were going to do a second episode where we're going to talk about future stuff and what our plans were um obviously I, i'm telling you like you weren't there <laughs> i'm just gonna I, say this is a story for the audience yeah i'm just gonna say audience we shit the bed so let's just say it. so it was it it, it looked beautiful because we were in front of the fire pit with a lot of smoke but we were in front of the fire pit it looked good everything was great but the energy it, it was fucking super late we were fucking dusted we had just all eight. So we no, had we fat belly. Sammy, you guys didn't eat. eat. We oh. had fat belly shut eye. So we had fat belly shut eye, and the energy was just. Yeah. I was trying to edit it, and I'm like, I, I'm not even going to bother. Yeah, because I hit him up about it. I'm like, whatever happened to that? I was like, I kind of figured he was going to scrap it, which it wasn't going to offend me at all, because like, we ran into so many issues. Not only that, but we ran into so many tech issues. Yeah. Like cameras kept going off, yeah. lights kept going off, some mics worked, some mics didn't. You know, it was just. It was a brilliant idea, and I think this is why we're kind of making up for it right now. It's like yeah. we can always do those again out there too. I mean, I'm not gonna do it in front of the fire pit. We'll do it. Well, well do you know, the, else. you know what the problem was is that log that's in there. Yeah. For whatever reason, it was smoking like a motherfucker. Yeah, and that log, well, it's still in there. I now. think we do it without the fire pit. We'll do it without the lighting. fire pit because we'll yeah. the lighting was dope. The fire was cool. We can always just create that with lights. I'm, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, making it look good. Not worried about it. The energy is what fucked it so up. So it was the energy dude. then. I, th I would have no, thought it was the sure. energy. Yeah. I dude, thought Scott was like this the whole fucking time. Dude, I was. We were tired. Yeah, I, no, think, was, I think you had the most like energy. One. Be out of all of us. Well, and dude, I seriously thought I was like totally lying. Well, I, I and like, I watched it. And I'm like, what the fuck? I, I feel like, like most it. of that show was just you and I going back and forth. And it really was. Like but it now. I was like, fuck this, I'm done. I don't want to deal with it. I, 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 I completely I, 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 I figured you scrapped it because of the clusterfuck of problems we had. Because that would stress me out, Eddie. It, yeah, it, and I think that's where my energy came from, was like the constant, like, I was. I think I was getting irritated at the fact that it yeah. was, we were having issues like that, and I was... Because you, you had a hangry moment. I was more... No, I was a hangry fuck face. <laughs> I was more stressed at the fact that we weren't going to get what I wanted right and that's where I was mostly like and you and you see it in the video yeah and I'm like uh, fuck that if like our, and I'm, and I'm not gonna release this shit and our energy is just like cause if Ooh, our God. energy's that way the people watching it's gonna be that anyway, way this is stupid we're not gonna watch right exactly so <laughs> I'm like fuck that mind you you just came from an 8 hour drive and your energy's fantastic right now yeah. shocking right yeah I but know. I guess most of that I mean we were I, I would say compared to yeah, drive is tiring, but you are sitting down most of the time. Yeah. And we were out in the sun. All yeah. the, I mean, it wasn't too hot, but we were out there for a good and amount we, of time. And we had a hike. We had a hike. A mile walk, We man. were going back and forth walk. from base camp, and we were probably standing most of the day, too. Go, yeah. And we had to go down and up yeah. those two hills. Yeah, yeah. It was, I didn't sit down at all once I got out of the car. Yeah. I was yeah. Out standing that yeah. whole fucking time. I think time. I took a, like, a little break real quick to like get, readjust my back. Yeah, we barely ate. I had a sandwich that Hunter's mom brought, yeah. um, which yeah. was super dope. Um, that was it. I just had that, and then uh, I didn't have anything to drink that I remember. They, so they were even out waters. Did you not get a water? I didn't get a water. No, oh. I didn't have anything. So, yeah. So I mean, and then you know, obviously we, I ate. Uh, he didn't eat. I don't know if you ate or not. I ate. I, ate. I, ate. I had two sandwiches. Yeah. So I. <laughs> yeah. But I was still hungry after the shoot. Did you guys bring food? We brought food remember. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We went to Jack in the Box. You had your, what was it? I, I had thought we were going to get a little bit of time to like, eat, but then you were already set up. I was like, uh, it's all right. I'll eat after. No problem. I want to get this over. It's you could have eaten so. while we were filming, dude. Yeah. Now that I see him drinking coffee, getting up, go to the bathroom, I was like, I could have done the same thing. I know. Doesn't even offer his coffee. Fucking make your own. You know the face. I don't want coffee. You're not a guest here. Go make your own <laughs> shit. I, I don't want coffee regardless, though. I, mean, I only drink it in the morning. I'm probably gonna go tomorrow so I can get your coffee. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Before I go out to Hon X. Yeah, I can probably get some. Sounds good. Go make some. I will. You make some. Coffee's in the pantry, you just gotta wash out the yeah. thing and the creamer's in the door. I've been loving going to those story films, except the Easter one was a little 
June seventeenth is our next one. I know, we're headlining. I, I know. I want to go. Uh, can't go. We're we're back at Boyd Street again. We're not doing that Sepulveda. That's what sucks. Because I want, a track. Yeah, it sucks because I want to do the fucking Boyd Street one. Uh, we'll get you out again. That'll be another. That's that's the location. Gonna, that's yeah. the main location. Is this so. going to be probably one of his last ones too going into the season? Isn't I it? I think so. May, he might have. He might one do more. July. I think he might do a Fourth of July one. Yeah. But I, I will. I will be out often during the season. Oh, okay, good. I was, I was so telling him that that's I didn't a good know idea. It's a little transition. Yeah, I'm coming out during audition uh, during uh, the season. I'll be coming out. Uh, Hold on. In September. Did you just spill something. No. You auditioned? No, 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 no. You got me all excited. I, no, I first that. You said audition. I was like, nah, I get to nah. see it in that's person finally. Month, dude. Yeah, I keep giving him shit. I was like, I've seen months. you slide. I've seen you coach. I've seen you manage. I've never. He's seen never. He's never seen me in character. And I was like, I keep telling him just to guilt him. Like, I probably never will either. I'm a yeah, I thought about it. We've we've talked about it on the podcast about going back in the fiftieth, and I've I've been Next thinking year. and I've been thinking about it, and I'm just like, I just don't know if I. It, can, it's I a little bit harder for you. It, 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 well, one, it's harder for me. Well, next year the kids will be going. They'll be they'll be five. Right now the kids are okay. They're 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 kind of easy, and and the only reason why I'm talking about the kids is because they need to get to an age to where like my wife can handle them longer by herself right. without me. Um, right now, they're you know Jackson, my son, can be a little bit. Well, they're still in their toddler, going into little yeah. kid phase. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. So. so, but and I thought about it. I'm like, and it, it has nothing to do with the family. I mean, it has nothing to do with being away. I can come out for the weekend and go. No, it's not a big deal. But it's just more of like I've been I've been more on the fence of like I just don't know if I want to. You know what I'm saying? Because like. I like being, I like I like being the guest now. Now, well, now you, if, you've done your time, and now you just want to enjoy it. Now. Yeah. Now, if everybody goes back, who says they're all going to go back or retire? I think it's going to be the the perfect year to go as a guest. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. You know, just to be able to get shots of, and, I, and that's the way I'm looking at it. You know, not to not to say. No, I know this old fuck wants to go back. Looking at yeah. you, buddy. You know, what's funny is like if I worked this year. It would be year twenty four for me at knots, right? And then if I went back next year too, it would be year twenty five for me. The fiftieth will be your yeah. twenty fifth. It would be my silver and their gold. Right. Fucking that would be that'd be awesome. <laughs> but um twenty five years, huh? That would be? Yeah, for the fiftieth it would be my twenty fifth if I if I went back this year. That's huge. You know, yeah. But off camera I w I won't talk about it now, but I had ideas for off camera stuff. Um which also leads into the reason, another reason why I was like, you know, maybe I won't go work it. I want to do something else for the. I got that new gimbal for my uh, my camera. The one that was giving me problems. I'm gonna figure it out still because I will. I want to use that for hot season. Well, you, you, that was the first time you mounted it up. With well, that camera, was the first so. time that I used it at a full on convention. Yeah, like so it was. A, what gimbal do you get? Uh, just some. I got a I got a smaller one for mostly phones and like my Sony. Oh. Uh, because this camera. No, that's that's the Lumix. Oh, that's just that's my webcam now. Ironically, it's still a good camera, but yeah. um, no, for my Sony, the the gimbal that I have is more for my Canon for DSLRs. Oh, okay. That's a more heavy duty gimbal. Um, the one that I have is strictly just for which gimbal ones. do you have? I forget the name. Uh, it's I not a DJI, is it? I don't think it is. Oh, okay. He was having an issue with it. I was just, it, it's just, yeah. it's, it's, it, you know, and you know how balancing goes with those. It's Dude, a I fucking fun. hate it. I fucking hate I it. I wish they would already yeah, it's make all manual it. setup. I, I wish they would just, yeah, I wish they would make a gimbal already where it was all just like, you just attach the camera and sensor it or something. Well, it's just, just it's just weight. like, it's just like fucking 3D printers. Why are we still balancing the fucking bed? Why yeah. are you still leveling the bed? Like, you should have fucking shit that, you should be automatic at this point. No, I, I get it. Um, and I got the gimbal for the event, the last, the story films event. Yeah. You know, and it had been a while since I used a gimbal because I sold my old my old one. Yeah. And I was like, "Well, I'll get this one and use this." And I didn't even fucking use it because it's, like, it's, it's a clusterfuck. Drove, drove me fucking nuts. It's a clusterfuck. Yeah. It is. I was telling him halfway through Monster Palooza, I'm like, "I gotta go back to your car, dude. I can't do this anymore. Yeah. I'm yeah. just gonna handheld everything. Yeah, I'm better right. at handheld yeah. it." Good thing we parked just outside. The yeah, entrance. we parked like right down the stairs. Went oh, right there, good. so yeah. it was like perfect. Because we got there early, uh -huh. since I, I didn't have a ticket yet. Turns out we could have went regular time. I could have ticket. Yeah. Parking in, in itself, though, when we pulled up, dude, I parked right next to the the doorway from the parking structure that goes up the stairs and to the left, and there was an entrance. Oh, no, that's where yeah. we parked last time. Yeah, for, uh, exactly. I haven't told the Kane Otter story on camera yet. 
this guy. Did you grab his nuts? I wanted to. <laughs> I really wanted to. I'm like, fucking Jason Balls, bro! <laughs> Jason Balls! <laughs> no, uh, it, but it, it, it's funny that you brought up nuts, but that's funny. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I was going to the bathroom and he was coming out, right? Yeah. And uh, I look up and I'm like, oh, fuck, it's Kate Hunter. Shit. Did you look up or did you see eye to eye with him? Because he's pretty tall. He's not that tall. At least I don't think he is. Really? It's maybe because I'm just because I'm taller than him. But he's probably me, like six he, foot six. Two. He looks short. But to you, he's to short, me. Yeah, to yeah. a lot of people, me. Yeah, yeah. People, you know. But for me, I was everybody is like, I was like, you, you look shorter. It could be because of old age too. You know, well, not to age. mention the fact every time they shoot him as Jason, it's usually from the. It's a forced up. perspective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I'm walking into the bathroom. He's walking out. I look up. I'm like, fuck, King Potter. I was like, what am I going to say to this guy? I got to make this cool. I got to I got to make it sound cool. I look him directly, and I'm like. You're a fucking badass, bro. And he looked at me and he goes, thank you, appreciate that. And it's so funny because at the same time, because we were at different ends. I was in one restroom, he's in the other. I crossed Tom Savini in the other bathroom. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I would have been like, bro, fucking sex machine. And as he walked by, I go, sex machine. But he didn't catch it. Uh, he probably, I don't know, I don't know. What the hell's going on out there? Well, it's, it's fun. Uh, Tom Savini, so, <laughs> I have a Tom Savini story. So we uh, we did our first show 15 years ago, um, and it was Hon X. We did Hon X, and um, it was our first show as Jay Lee. Oh, um, oh God, yeah, that was when I was at the Hilton, doing, LA Hilton. Yeah, doing, doing, um, doing, you know, with a mask. Dude, Kane Hodder's 6'5". Six I'm um, six foot six. Yeah. That's why he looks short to me. And, um, and uh, you know, so we're, we're doing our thing at the booth. You know, talking to people and stuff, and uh, <laughs> I don't know who it was. Someone tapped me. It's like, dude, Tom Savini's here. I was like, what? And I kept Tom Savini's at the booth looking at the masks. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So I look. I'm like, like, hey, dude. I, you know, so I, someone's in your backyard, and it's scary. The phone's not. It's a possum that run across the fence, and they shrug. Get a it. fucking pallet gun. Yeah. Like, oh, dude. Possum are harmless, and they don't bite. They don't carry rabies or anything. They're more afraid of you than you are yeah. of it. Um, anyway, so uh, so I, you know, I talked to him, you know, and he about the masks and stuff, and he's like, "Oh, cool." He's like, "Well, I'll take this one." He bought two J Lee masks. Wow. So he has two J Lee masks. Probably That's up awesome. in his in his house. I don't, I I I looked every single video I, that that's where someone goes to his collection. I look to see. But they always show all the. Could be his private collection. It could be in his private. Well, it was funny. Or he could have gotten rid of them. I don't know. So, like, do you know who Greg Nicotero is? Yes. He doesn't. Um, Because I was trying to explain it to him. He did, but though. No, I know. But he doesn't watch that much. I don't watch either. It's a stupid show, but anyways. It it, it got stupid. (laughs) Uh, I I got fed up with it. But anyway. Should have been killed off after, like, the third season. Done. Yeah, 100%. Um, But. We're in line to get in, right? And we're standing in it. We're, this, we're, this is last month. Yeah, okay. We're yeah. in like an angle outside where it's kind of like we're a little bit risen up. We're on top of like a ledge or something. And so I'm looking over and we're, me and him we're are just chatting. We're in front of the Civic Center. Park. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're, we're, me and him are just talking in line, bullshitting, talking, catching up and stuff. And um, I look over and fucking Greg Nicotero walks in the door. Nice. And I looked at Scott. I'm like, dude, that was fucking Greg Nicotero. I wasn't certain though. Because I was like real quick and he fast. He's like, fuck's Greg Nicotero? I'm like, He's a fucking really talented makeup artist. Is oh what he my is. God. He did all the makeup for The Walking Dead zombies. He revived. Which is awesome. He revived Creep Show, which is amazing. Right. Um, he's done a lot of other things, but those are his two like golden. Speaking of Creep Show, we saw a guy walking around as the crepe monster. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I was like, look, it's the fucking crepe. I'm like, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, he looked a little more on the ape side, like his snout was more. Yeah, because like, I don't really think until the show came out that they really had an actual like good costume for it, mm-hmm. and then the show brought light to it, and then it coming to Horror Nights brought light to it too. Um, it didn't have as big a teeth either. No, but it still looked pretty cool because immediately we recognized it was the crate monster. Yeah, that was dope. I was like, look, it's the crate from Creep Show. Uh, then later on, we're walking. When we get in, finally, we're walking up and down the rows, and we in the video that I put up for Monster Blues, I actually take a still of it. I'm like. Greg Nicotero. We walked right past him, and then my buddy, my coworker, he met up with us, and he was like, yeah, Greg Nicotero's walking around. I looked at him and I was like, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew that was Greg. And so the entire day, the rest of the show, I'm like constantly looking out for him, because I'm trying to take a picture. And then uh, we ran into Brian Sparrow, they're there, and then fucking Sparrow comes up to me and goes, yeah, um, Michael Rosenbaum's here too. And I was like, 
Yeah. Lex Luthor's Lex here? Luthor, yeah. Dude, a lot of people. He got a picture with him. It I was, was like, Lex Luthor is here? I'm like, that was my Lex Luthor growing up, bro. Like, I gotta meet Dude, him. Dude, I have to say, that fucking zombie Hulk Hogan, did you see great. it? Yeah. I think I got that footage of it. Fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I, I saw a picture of him on Instagram so today where I pointed there was a shot of the mortal, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. But there was a picture of him today. He was just wearing the trunks. And the face, he had zombie face, and he had a big like chest. It was all yeah, gashed. Big, yeah. Yeah. chest gash too. Yeah. But yeah, and over there he we, didn't have we, that. Uh, he had the Hulkamania tank on. Oh, we, we passed him. And I saw and, where he had the, he had the whole like uh, yeah, no shirt. Yeah, because yeah. we were at the Immortal Mask boost, and he was you know we were he was talking, talking to, he was talking, talking to the creator and everything, and um, I was looking at the mask and stuff, and I turn around and we we're about to walk away. I'm like. Dude, look at that! It's Hulk Hogan. They're zombifying it. They were doing the demo right there. Yeah. And then we, and then I see pictures later. I'm like, dude, I was watching that. That have you ever been to Mosquito? Yes. Dude, I, I that was days, the first time. I was in the past. I was in 2019. Of, oh, you did? Oh, yeah, so yeah, it was. It was oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. That's where we saw. No, was it 2019? No, the last time I went, it was the last time I saw Nelson. So that was 28. When did he pass away? Fuck. It was the last time. That was the last time I was there. So maybe it wasn't 2019. I forget, forget. But I'll, I'll let you. That know was right the now. first time I've ever been. Okay. And I was blown away by it. Oh, it's I was a like, great show. It really focuses on the makeup and FX side, and I like that. There's demos everywhere. Yep. And I can literally, I don't even have to buy something. I can just sit around and watch the demos all day. That's yep. how fascinating it is to yeah. me. Because I love, I used to love watching Face Off on Sci Fi. Right. One of the best shows. I fucking I, miss that show. It's one, I think it's one of the greatest shows ever made. Died. Okay, so, yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah. I, I think it was one of the great. I think it's one of the greatest shows ever made. Mm-hmm. As far as to get an in depth look of the, the oh, sci fi really, realm. Yeah, it was awesome. And then you had so many great guests, famous makeup artists come on the show. Like, I was just blown away by it. But, yeah, it, it was a fun time. And, dude, it's like Comic-Con. Celebrities are just walking around. Yeah. Like, not even, like, Michael Rosenbaum. I was like, I told him straight up, I'm like, dude, I'm a huge fan of you. Like, you know, who's everyone. That? Who's that? He played Lex Luthor on Smallville. Oh, okay, okay. And he's got his own show called Inside of You on, it's this podcast. Mm-hmm. And he interviews a bunch of, like, celebrities and stuff. But, um, I looked at, I told, I told him, I was like, dude, you don't know. Like, everyone has their own Lex Luthor and Superman. Like, me growing up, like, Smallville came out when I was, like, five. My dad's a diehard Superman fan, so I would watch it with him all the time. You and Tom Welling were my Lex Luthor and Superman. Like, my dad likes Christopher Reeve and, and Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman's a great Lex Luthor. Don't get me wrong. He's a fucking legend. Yeah. But that Lex Luthor for me was just, like, that was the one I grew up with. Okay. You know? And so, like, to see him and tell him that, he was like, thanks, man. Like, he's like, that really He was really just walking around, like, Yeah, he was I just, would. no, he's just, he's, he's a big-time horror fan. Because yeah. he really is. And he loves Tom Savini and... Um, he and was I was in, like, dude, sorority boys. Yeah. And uh, I was telling him about a movie. I don't know if you've ever, you ever seen the movie Cursed? Cursed. With Nicole, uh, with, uh, what's her name? For Wednesday Adams from the reboot. Is that Nicole Richie? Christina oh, Ricci. Christina, Christina Ricci. Ricci. Christina yeah. Ricci, yeah. And Jesse Eisenberg's in it too. They're brother and sister. Uh-uh. It, so it's basically about them. They, they pick up the curse of the werewolf. Mm-hmm. And uh, Michael Rosenbaum's in that too. It didn't do too good, but it became like a cult classic. Okay. It was made in like the early 2000s. But it's a good film. But he's in that film too, and I was trying to tell him that, and he hadn't seen it either. So I was like, um, we're going to have to watch a movie day. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to go this this year, t- but it was like two weekends in a row. <laughs> well, that would have t- been pretty brutal for me. I was telling him I was, I was getting footage of all the celebrities. I'm like, I can technically say all these celebrities have been on Night's Horror now. <laughs> I was laughing at that. I was like, so fucking true. cheap. I just, just played the book right there, man. I no, I got see, I got I footage see. of Nev Campbell, Matthew Lillard, Robin Jamie Jean. Kennedy. Uh, the, Robin, whole yeah. screen, the whole screen cast was there. there. The girl who played Amanda and Saw too. She was there. Yeah. Uh, Kane Hodder was Sean, there. Shawnee Smith. Smith, Smith was there. We met the guy who was playing Grandpa in the new Munsters film. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that guy was dope. He was at... He was nice. Trick or Treat Studios. Trick or Treat Studios' booth. booth. You you see the, did you see the trailer for that, by the way? No. They finally released a teaser showing. I, honestly, oh, like really? I, I'm looking forward to seeing the monsters, but it's gonna be. I, PG. I, I, I'm like, kind of skeptical about Lily, who's playing. Lily. I know. I that's the thing. It's like you you can't you can't have a Rob Zombie movie without that's Sherry. Sherry yeah. Moon, so, um, but yeah, I'm I'm the same way. I'm like, that's, I was that's just the shocked one at thing it. that I'm like. I was shocked that it, he made it PG though. I mean, I understand the property well, has always been PG. That's why. But it's holding true. It's Rob Zombie, dude. Like, it doesn't matter. He'll still hold true to the essence of it. Like I know, but the I think this went. is going to be his first like PG movie. Yeah. Like, what, I, what I'm saying is, I'm shocked by that. Yeah. And and he's he's according to him, he's a diehard fan of the, the right. thing. He's this is something that he's been wanting to do for years. The, I the I honestly awesome. I honestly think I'm going to say I'm going to say this with full confidence. I think we're in good hands with him. Yeah. 
I mean, he's got his own style, and he's got like that gothic metal style. Mm -hmm. But comparing that and then kind of giving it, this is the first time we're gonna actually see the monsters like in color. You know what I mean? I'm, like, I'm excited to see it because yes, it'll be a really interesting vision that he's been giving, but it's gonna still have the same look feel of it. Yeah, the grainy and I'm glad quality. They, yeah, and I'm glad that they gave it a PG because we don't have to worry about every other word being fuck. Exactly. Yeah, and, and it's, I think because of Monsters, a lot of people grew up on it, oh, and those people have kids now, yeah. they want to bring their kids to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. and, and this is, essentially, it's what a lot is of people in Hollywood do. Huh? Is it a theatrical? I think it is, because it's, it's, it's formed by Universal. Universal's okay. putting it on. And I think with the, with the title like that, it's going to be theatrical, you know? Monsters is... Yeah. You know, it's funny, I was looking at, I was curious, because, you know, everybody always compares Adam's Family and the Monsters. Yeah, yeah. It's basically the same shit. They came out the same year too. Yeah, it's just like more <laughs> I like the monsters. And aren't they both? Aren't they both <coughs> universal? Yeah. So why would you make a own competition for yourself? It's like. Uh, yeah. Well, it's just like Elvira and Morticia, right? Or was it Morticia or is it Vampira? Vampira. Vampira. But she was first, wasn't she? Vampira. Yeah. I have no idea. Vampira goes back to like the 30s or 40s. <laughs> oh yeah. I have no idea. I just got the Elvira documentary. I started watching that. I want to read her Dude, book. She is, she is so awesome. Every time we she's, have to she's work a with sweetheart. Her, yeah, she's a and we met her. I, I, you know, I was I was shocked, to, and I'm it, I'm not mad about it, but I was just shocked to find out when she came out. Yeah. I was like, you realize you've been like a a big time like men's sex symbol for the longest, and you can't. I'm like, good for you though. Like the first movie yourself, I bro. saw her in, Proud of you. out of the Elvira costume, is Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Mm -hmm. she, she was the she, she was a redheaded biker too. chick. In, she used to date him. Yeah. Yeah, she was cool. Our, Chris and I did the when we did the her show at Knotts. Um, oh, you she, guys actually got to meet her, huh? Because yeah, I remember she yeah, had Knotts. I, I told we you, scared I, I partied with her. We scared her. She seems nice. Because Chris and I got, we kind of get, we're getting bored with the thing, the repeating thing that we kept doing. Yeah. And uh, one one show, it was like towards the end of the run, and I'm like, dude, we gotta do something different, man. We gotta. That's what you're doing, Bone Brothers. Yeah. I go, we gotta get a chuckle or something. Like he's like, what do you want to do? And I'm like. Why don't why don't I jump on your back and you know you carry me out there? So we did that because our whole thing was like she had calls for the monsters or something, and we come out on stage and you know give her something and you know we leave. Um, and so he does that. He carries me on uh, on his back and you know, ride out there. And he does it, and then I jump off. And as Chris goes, he tripped. I thought he tripped, he fell and slid on on, on you know on the, with the knee pads, yeah. and I was like, oh shit! So I'm like going, I'm helping him up, and she's like, oh, and it freaked her out. She's like, oh my god, is he hurt? Blah, blah, blah. So we run off stage, and he's fucking laughing, and I'm like, did you fucking do that for me? He's like, yeah. He's like, you said you want to do something different. I'm like, you're a fucking dick, dude. So <laughs> she gets off stage. After, you know, during that number, she leaves, and then a dance number comes on, so she has some time to get. Um, and t at the end of the show, sh they uh, the stage manager calls us and is like, "Hey, dude, Cassandra wants to see you guys." And I'm like, "Oh, fuck." Duh, yeah. And yeah, what's so her woman, Cassandra Peterson. Cassandra Peterson. Peterson. Yeah. And he's like, Cassandra so we, smoke we show go Peterson. to her. We go to her green room, and she was like, she was like, "Which one do you fell?" And Chris is like me and she's like are you okay he's like yeah fine <laughs> and she's like oh my god she's like are you sure you're okay like she was 100 percent genuinely oh good like no she seems like, like she's yeah. a, a super cool sweetheart. about it and he's like no 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 like we she's like he's like we did it on purpose yeah and she's like really he's like yeah we just thought we wanted to do something different yeah and she's like oh my god it's like you scared the shit <laughs> <laughs> it's probably and he's like, I'm so, he's like, I'm so sorry. We won't do that again. She's like, no, 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 no. Just let me know before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just don't take the step all night from me. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. But we never did. We did everything the way we were supposed to. After that, it was just one and done. Do something, <laughs> one thing yeah. and, and have a story. It's memorable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's hilarious. Funny. No, she's, yeah, she's supposed to be in the new Monsters movie. She's supposed to have like a, a cameo, a cameo, like a serious role in it. As too. Elvira or as? No, as, 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 well, it's, she's playing a character, but it's not going to be Elvira. Right, right. You know? So she's, she's yeah. going to be playing. I think yeah. she's kind of, I, I, I think she's retired from Elvira now, she, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, from what I hear is like, they have been like looking for the next Elvira because she really? owns the character. And I think now they want to like find the next generation Elvira yeah. to carry on the character. She's a total icon. 
It's so, not her that I'm mad about for this, but it feels like that's just a repeating cycle that you're seeing a lot today. But just, we need to get this character, keep him relevant, but for a new generation. Yeah. And it's like Hollywood. Like, I have this conversation with my stepdad all the time. There's got to be scripts or something from, like, the 70s, 80s that were shelved that are probably really good. They just, at the time, they're like, nah, it's probably not a good movie. Let's pull them off and let's do them. Yeah, because they don't know, nobody wants to take a chance on something new. Nobody does. Yeah. They, they, they want to grab something that has a fan base and then just fuck it all up. That's, that's the trend right now. Mm-hmm. Halloween's a prime fucking example. I will say this, though. Dune was fantastic. Who? Dune. Dune. The new Dune movie. I haven't seen it. Visually, I thought it was okay. If, if you don't it like, looked great visually. The story was The little... visuals are beautiful. It, uh, so the story is slow, but the director of this new franchise, he wants to do it loyal to the books, and he wants to do a couple movies to really establish the story. You remember, okay, okay, so this one's so all you remember, basic you remember the original one, right? Yeah. So you know when they had their body shielding? It was all super square and blocky. It looked like freaking, uh, whatchamacallit, Minecraft? Yeah, yeah. So they, did, they redid that scene, but the armor looks better type of thing and Jason Momoa is in it and he's a fucking badass he is it's, you know he's got a good scene he has, he's got he has a really good fight scene at the end when he dies really good fight scene yeah Brilliant. so I mean when I was like okay what is his role and he was a character called Duncan but he was he was the the ass kicker mm-hmm. in it which suits him he's coming back you know that right huh he's coming back what do you mean his character in the books doesn't die off the character oh I it doesn't surprise me but like it, it's kind of like a Game of Thrones White Walker situation mm-hmm. But with the, the, the you know the cold and shit. But, but I wasn't Dune, really however, fan of the visually story. fantastic story. It, it is slow, but this is big setup for what's to come. Right. But there's a lot of good key moments in there from the act. It's a great cast too. Yeah, they did have the giant worms in it. Yeah, there. Yeah, I, I saw the trailer. The trailer looked interesting. I just haven't gotten around to. Sit I would say that's my. Well, don't, don't you have it on Plex? Movies. I do. Yeah, I it's just it's, it's 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 a long movie. Yeah. It's like three hours. That's long. why I'm like, Ugh, that's a yeah. that's a that's a lot of. Uh, yeah. He doesn't, I just, have the, doesn't have the time you and I have where we can just sit down and watch something. Well, it's weird because I can I, I work I, here's the thing. I've been super busy with work work. Yeah. Um and when I'm super busy with work work, I put on background shit. I can't put on something I have to pay attention to because it's, it's like my music. So yeah. I put on just a thing, a TV show or something that I know and I can just work. Take it out of the office. Or you just listen to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I and and so that's like that's like my go to. It's I don't listen to music when I'm in the office. I listen to music when I'm working out or I'm in the car. Mm-hmm. It's the only time I listen to music. I can't do it when I'm in the office, you know, working. Um, so I just haven't put anything on. But uh, was it yesterday or today? Oh, either yesterday or this morning. I watched the. Uh, it was yesterday. I watched the new. Um, the, I, I probably should be embarrassed to say that I've watched it. The new um, Jordan Butler movie called uh, Before She Before You Were Alive. I think it's called. People talk shit. I love Jordan Butler. Never no, I love Jordan Butler. This movie was fucking terrible. As shit. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I feel like so too bad. though. That's not Gerard Far. I think he's just at this point. He's just trying to stay relevant, stay keep getting paid. No, he's doing a Samuel Jackson movie. The movie he did before, um, the End of the World one, was great. Geo Storm. You thought that was great? I thought that was cool. Oh my god! I thought it was fun. It was entertaining. Geo Storm. Geo Storm. I think as well. Yeah, heard you're right. No, you're right. I guess that's something I gotta watch I now. Just, I, no, it was. Eh. <laughs> I god. thought Den of Thieves was amazing. Den of Thieves was great. I yeah. haven't seen that. I Which is unfortunate that. because I like the, the 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 actor that's in it that is from Halo. Oh, uh, fucking Halo. Uh, Liam Shriver's brother. Yes, but fucking Halo is terrible. Man, people were <coughs> telling me I gotta watch. I gotta finish it. And he's like er, talking shit to the fans and stuff, and I'm like, no, dude, come on, I like you as an actor, bro. Just shut up and do your job. That's the like that's the problem that actors are having now. They're they're too vocal about. They have platforms shit. and voices. They're too, now, yeah, they're too fucking funny. vocal. Shut up. Go in, act, do your job, leave it alone. Do your marketing, leave it alone. Stop commenting. <laughs> fucking leave it alone. Let them sure. talk shit. Let them fucking be bitter. You're not gonna. You're not gonna make everybody happy. You're period. making it worse for yourself. <clears throat> Just stop. But he's dope and dope. I, I had high up for <laughs> Halo too because Steven Spielberg was a producer on it, mm-hmm. and he's been trying to get that off the, the ground for a long time. And visually, I'd say visually though, it was stunning. Halo, 
Because I, well, I, and I play the video games and stuff, so it's yeah, like, I don't. So it's like, and I had to explain a lot to my dad. My dad'd be like, "Who's this alien?" I'm like, "Oh, that's the Covenant. They're like, there, there's elites, there's like brutes, there's you know, there's all these different races and stuff." And and I was, I had to explain a lot of them, and I'm and I'm kind of hoping it's probably not going to happen. But I hope they get renewed for a season two, only because there's a an alien race called the Flood, which are essentially like, think of them like aliens, like the movie Alien. They're like that. They're like they just they're nasty and shit. Mm. And I want to see them, and I want to see how they can do them. And I'd be like, oh, that'd be dope. I was the Spartan. This I would say this. Those Spartan scenes though, where they're fighting and shit was dope. I was into it. The first the opening sequence, I was yeah. like, dude, this is fucking rad. Yeah. I'm like, I'm t- then, the first I'm episode like, for the most part, I was into it. The elites were dope until he took his helmet off, and I'm like, why is he taking his helmet off? Well, then I read into that. I wasn't I wasn't bothered by that. Me being, especially me being a Halo fan for so long, that's been the, the biggest thing. Is but that animosity. character never takes any his helmet off, right? But not in the games. Not in the games. Yeah. But the producer made it. When the producer said this, I was a little bit at ease with it. She was like, "We understand Halo is known for this. However, we're doing our and this is when I'm okay with things changing. When they come out and say things like this, if people from Star Wars would have said this, would have been okay with the new trilogy." But she straight out said, we're doing our own thing. It's going to be an original from us. Well, yes, we're taking the world that you know and a lot of aspects from that world, but we're creating our own universe with it, and we're but doing our own thing with it. But that's like, but that's, that's, not, that's wrong. That's not the way it should be. You're right, but for me, when, when if, if they would have came out and said that with the new Star Wars trilogy, I would have been way more okay with it. Yeah. Like, we're not going to base it off any books. We're going to go our own original things and stuff. <clears throat> but like we're going into this like oh it's 30 years after episode 6 okay so what are we doing now? if they would have not tied any of these solos and they would have never had Han and Chewie and Leia and any in the originals well it wouldn't have saved it character wise but I don't think people would have made a huge deal if they would have just literally done their own thing and mm-hmm. not really tied characters together they, they they literally just carried on the trilogy mm-hmm. and created a new trilogy based off of the existing ones and they just fucked it all up. And that's beyond character development. The, the lack of their, lack thereof is what I should say. <clears throat> they have, so they, they have, again, it's just... You that iconic thing? You know, that picture? You ever seen that picture of the two people are touching fingers? No. It's like a very iconic yes. painting. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, what's that? They're like in the sky, they're like... The hell is the fucking yeah, it's Italy thing? Yeah, um, it is. A very sorry. famous. Anyways, artist. that's just the problem. It's all missed opportunities. No, hundred percent. Kylo Ren could have been a superb character. Uh, hundred percent. But I hate, that I, but I hate superb it. Character. I hated him because he was such a crybaby. And that's no, but that's the scary part. That was the scary part that they had at their beck and call. The fact that he could Could've fly out the whim, he could not control his rage, and he was that powerful, that's fucking scary. Yeah. Up until he takes his helmet off and is like, oh, hey, let me get into your And brain. then And then it got it's worse like, in episode eight. Fuck? It got worse in episode eight when he took his shirt off. I'm like, put your shirt back on, no one wants to see exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> and then he goes and he's good. It's like... That bothered me a lot. What's the fucking... Point? I know people that, like, love that character. I'm like, why? Well, they, they, were, too why? Des- they were too desperate to mimic him. Did they were they were too desperate to mimic him as Darth Vader because the end Darth Vader he, you know his father and they, they, they oh hey dad oh great I'm gonna die in your arms oh, okay cool you're good now great okay cool but they fucked up in the middle with Kylo episode eight yeah uh, seven eight yeah seven I thought he was okay that's right he Nelson. was he was fine he was cool he 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 was dynamic he had his ups and downs I wasn't crazy by him taking his helmet off. All the time, I, but I was okay with it. I like this lightsaber. I was okay that with was it. That was something new. Yeah, exactly. I felt like an actual and the like, way sword. he stood, the way he yeah. fought, everything. It was all new, and it was cool. And then you go with the second the, in the second movie, which I vaguely remember because I only watched it once. Yeah, so did I. It sucked. And um, you know, and they have the whole like, oh, Ray, you're a nobody. Don't even get me started with Ray's story because there is no story. <laughs> but, you know, it's the nice whole like, at. oh, you're a nobody. Let's join forces, and I just don't even know where they, what they were. I thinking. think the only thing that I and hate he didn't have his helmet the whole fucking time. Yeah, that was stupid. And then, and then he breaks it. He breaks it. Oh, he breaks it. Oh, yeah. So in the beginning, he has it. They kill off the best character, which is Snoke, and then yeah, dude, and Circus Man, come on. Especially after the, then you show him 
you show him how fucking cool he looks, how he, the character design is Then you find out design is amazing. Emperor just made him. The voice is amazing, because Andy Serkis is, you know, voice fucking actor. Fucking great actor. Great. And then Gollum. they fucking kill him off the, the most pathetic way possible. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Episode 8 was just... Quick, a easy, yeah, period. just a direct... Yeah, that's Ryan Johnson. Fight well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... And he still set the direction of the Star Wars movie. I'm like, why are you doing this again to me? Yeah. I don't want to see him direct Star Wars. He could... Do a Knives Out franchise. I love that movie. Movie was fucking phenomenal. I heard that was really good. Don't let him do Star Wars. Just don't. Yeah. Well, they, I hope they learned their lesson on that one. They're bringing him back, so yeah, that's I don't think they did. Whatever. I'm over it. But um, I think a good end segue for this. Um, a lot of stuff has been announcing. I know it's like a whole different segue. We've been to, oh no, we've been about two hours. Hour and forty six. Yeah. That's why I want to. We'll wrap it up. But I want to get your thoughts. Uh, I already know his thoughts about the event, but I want to hear your thoughts about Halloween Horror Nights' first two announcements. What do you? Are you a big Horror Nights guy? Do you? No. Do you go to it now? He and I are the same of the same thought no, process. No, I, I don't care. I don't care that they fucking Halloween. I already knew they were going to do Halloween. That's, I was I was I was kind of pissed off about it because I was really hoping it was going to be 2018. And then what was the other one? Uh, uh, Universal Monsters Legends Collection. I think that one will be cool, but I think they could because they have these legendary monsters. They could build a maze just around each character individually. Yeah, um, I think that'd be. It, I, I would just like to see more originality. From I uh, no, I do. My, I do get your guys' arguments about the the light and how the scare tactics are used there and, and how scripted it is. Like I, I'm 100 percent in agreement with that. They need to change something up. They need to get some, my thing. I think the reason why I keep going. No. No quiet. <laughs> the um, my if. I was excited about the Halloween. I would be pissed at the fact that the way that they announced it. That fucking trailer did they, they it did seems like, was well, so fucking stupid. Did you watch the first trailer for Universal Monsters? So it's like, it seems like... Was the poster one? Yeah, because it seems like every... Tra- and I noticed this with this next one, but every trailer started with uh, the so-and-so, and this one was the skeptic. Mm-hmm. So I, I think what they're doing with every trailer is, obviously they're tying it all in, but everything is supposed to be your typical horror fan and different. You have the moviegoer who goes and sees all the re-releases, everything. Yeah. You have the skeptic who's like, that's bullshit. I can outrun him. You know what I mean? Right. It's all the the, the the horror fan tribes. Okay. You know? And and to see that kind of... T- but I will say that it was weak. I was like, Michael Myers in the hallway and then he's gone. Where the fuck did he go? What is yeah, going on it was, with this? I, I, For me, it's just... I. I I don't want to spend, you know, eighty, ninety dollars for a regular Gen- GA ticket and stand in line all night. That's not what I paid for, you know. And I don't, I don't want to spend to get no originality. Yeah, and then and then to spend, you know, what what is it for a front of line like two something? I don't even know anymore. They raise yeah, it, every year. Yeah, that's the thing, and it's still not. It's not. Here's the thing. You know. Okay. Like everyone knows that watches the podcast knows my issues with Universal. I don't need to talk about that shit anymore. If nuts. I would pay a hundred bucks to go to a Nazi event. Oh yeah. Because well, you know what you're getting. It's at mostly it. original. It's it's the, the monsters are amazing, you know, and you know what you're getting. And 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 all and a lot of the people that go to Universal. It's your general audience who love all those films. They they go for the yeah. And, and, I, and I'm gonna be honest. The that's IPs. the reason why I go because and I get it. That's their thing. Yeah. It's not for me. Yeah. It's just not my thing. Yeah. It's not for it me. It caters, it doesn't cater to people like, like you and I that come I from have, deep inside the haunt room. There are a few <clears throat> mazes that I, I to this <clears throat> day, are some of my favorite fucking mazes that, of all the mazes that I've been in, I've been in, is some of them have come from Universal. But I just, there's a lot of things they do, and I'm just like, what the fuck? I, it's uh, not even like, it's not even entertaining, let alone scary. I, I really like going because I think when I, that was like the first, that was the haunt that got me into <clears throat> if yeah. that makes any sense. 2008, I went to Knott's, but I was a little kid, so I didn't really get to experience it as much as I wanted to. Right. 2011, I was invited to go to Horror Nights. My neighbor at the time, who was, he used to be my, like one of my best friends, he was like, we're going to Halloween Horror Nights, do you want us to get you a ticket? I'm like, yeah, sure, fuck it, I'll see it. I've, I've heard good things about it. I heard it's really scary, I'll go check it out. And I just, that's that's the moment I knew I fell in love with it. <coughs> it was in 2011. And then I just kept going every single year. Yeah. Uh, for me, because I'm also a film nerd and, and all that, like, I loved B 
being immersed into the films. And it wasn't about the scares. It wasn't about the style of how they scared. For me, it was always about how spot on scenic they can get mm -hmm. to some of the iconic it's the visual scenes. side for you. The visuals. And uh, the, the story that it, what blows me away is they can take a two hour film and condense it down into five minutes. Mm -hmm. Like I've always, I mean, and that goes, but that goes for any haunted attraction, any maze or anything. They, that's basically what they, they're trying to sell you is this whole story within a small amount of time. You know, one um, of the things I did like was when they had my bloody Valentine. When you're in the mine shaft, this is when we went. That was a throwback. What was it? No, it was, it was 2010 or 2009. No, it was Four Nights. Far. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't remember going to that one. That was the year we went and went through the Michael Myers maze, or the Halloween uh, maze. So it was that year we're going oh, through yeah, the mine shaft. I do remember that one. I and remember, remember that. I think we were talking about the smell that they yeah. pumped in there. It almost made me throw up. Yeah. And that's rad because it immerses you in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know? <clears throat> easily, I, I, as far as trailers go, though, I will give them this. They have had made some pretty good ones. No, they have. And I think one of the best ones in my eyes to this date is when they did the announcement for The Bride of Frankenstein Lips. That was hands down one of the greatest produced trailers I've ever seen them do. I don't think I saw that one. Dude, so I generally it's like amazing. I'll show you after the video. Yeah, I I generally if I see any horror night stuff, I'm just like me. I just skip through. I don't care. I mean, I'm in, I'm excited though cuz I'm uh seeing uh, killer clowns from outer space might be returning this year and that's the reason why I will buy a frequent fear pass just to go see that out. I will fuck fuck all the other mazes. I will stand in line in that maze all night. I if I lived out here, I would buy a frequent pass. For sure. Mm -hmm. And I would go because I wouldn't care if I didn't get the CMAs when I went. Because you guys would come the next time. And, right. So know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best to try and get off. Hopefully Knott's won't fucking limit them this year. I think they're already done selling them. Yeah, for the extenders. For the pass extenders. That I, for you my about the hot pass? Yeah, yeah for my we regulation. It now. No, it's, it, it's sold out for the pass, annual pass extender. Do you have an annual pass? You do. No. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah, I think it's sold out, but... I don't know if they're going to ever, I don't know if, I haven't heard anything yet, but the last time around, it was around June or July that um, they released the uh, solo ones. Right. Because that's what I did in 2019. Right. Because I won't buy a pass to Knox. Nothing yeah, against Knox, I just, I, there's nothing for me to do that. Yeah, I bought it every year, but then last year they got greedy and well, was, decided to limit it. It was because I think so many people bought it in 2020 that they they were honoring those still. So they were very limited as, you're right though, they were being greedy about it, but they were limiting sales of how much they did because they had to take account for all the people who didn't want to refund. They had to honor that for the 2021 season. Oh, gotcha. So that's why they were so limited oh, gotcha. in 2021. Well, hopefully they won't. And I was, no, I was pissed too, dude, because I was like, yeah, this is the haunt that I go down the street from. Like this is like, if I don't feel like filming, if I just feel like going and chilling, this is where I would go. Yeah. This is my happy place. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I don't mind paying. Once, <laughs> yeah, I won't pay second time. I think I paid in the five sense or six of like a full price, season. a full price. I, I paid three pay times last season. Yeah, three times for that and I'll twice for Six Flags. I did once for Six Flags, and I got two free tickets my last two trips. So. And you could have, you could have came in for free on media night with me too. You did. I was in Florida. I know. Yeah. So I didn't have a choice. I was on the other side of the country. No, I, could, I, know. <laughs> I couldn't come down from that either. Hey, man. If I had, yeah, just, I had a if free I, media pass that nobody wanted. Okay, well, this year I'll take you so, up on it. If you, well, if you get if, if I get if it, you yeah, get if it, I, do, I will no. take you up on it. Cause, but I'm going to try to apply It's usually, and it's air, parking's covered too. Yeah, I'm going to try to apply, so, and there's free food. So, But the kicker is, is like we're not doing a turnaround. We go out there, and we crash there, and come back. Yeah, which and I, would, I might be I just driving my own car then. Dude, I would just leave in the morning. When I did that, I drove out. Um, what day was it? Actually, I'd probably fly out for that. I, I, I drove out, I think, the day of a media night. And I left left here about 11.30ish. It still took me over two hours to get out there. Yeah. It sucked. Got to the hotel, got a little bit comfortable, and then went over. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to take my own car then at that point if you're gonna go that early this year because I won't be out till three thirty. Well, we'll figure it out. But I'm not. I, I'm, well, I'm thinking about taking my own car anyway because I don't want to stay out there. I want to come home the next day and, with even that night, sometimes I like to do it is put all my stuff on my computer and then get it ready for the next day. Yeah. I mean, you you know, you know, just that's how it is. I just I don't want. I, don't, I, I just don't want to drive it home tired. Yeah, I know. I feel you. Um, I, and that's the thing. Like, I just blast music and I'm okay. Right. And, and, and I, I, I fucking one or two in the morning the freeway dead so yeah. fuck if that's the case I'll just 
I'll just have you drive and I'll put my I can drive in. and if, especially if, if you're the one giving it to me I'll be more than happy to drive just put my earplugs in and go to sleep on the drive home <laughs> no you and I always end up talking yeah true we always do yeah. we'll probably talk about how the night went and everything but I'm looking forward to haunt season it should yeah, be we'll fun see, we'll see how the season rolls this year I mean I, I finally and I want to if they're watching I want to thank Universal for this but they finally I finally got in onto their media list and I'm very oh dope dude very it's a very big accomplishment for me because when I started this channel that was the focus mm -hmm. and since we've the more of the years have gone on leading into our fifth year it's been it's been always we're adding going to more places and Universal got back to me on that I was very like I was like dude I've been working five years for this well then I apologize for any negativity no, it's your opinion. <laughs> it's, okay. it's like we were saying earlier, you're not going to make everybody happy. It's no, like, you're not. certain things you don't... You I, and I, and for me, Universal will always just have a special place in my heart because that's the haunt that got me into all right. of it. Right, and that know? could be the same for us with knots. Yeah, you and know? see? Because we have such deep root seated roots right. there. Yeah, you know? You know? So, right. for everyone long, likes long, different things. Yeah. I just think, overall, SoCal is the most dominating place for haunts. Yeah, for a long there. time, well, it's not, but... <laughs> What, what do you think is? The East Coast. Yeah. More and more so Midwest. Midwest. It's starting to pop up more and more. No, dude. No. Trust me, Midwest. They're they've been doing it for years. They yeah. They slam. But you gotta not consider just the forerunner that you gotta started consider, all the Midwest. You gotta consider they're running one bid. They're running one, maybe two houses. Big yeah. houses. Not just running a whole fucking theme park. Mm -hmm. Universal is doing a whole theme. It's a it's totally different ballpark. Yeah, totally. Because there have been some, there have been some events out here that have blown fucking knots away. Haunted Vineyard is a prime example. Fucking blown knots away. I'm sorry, but Pirates Cave though. Right, but the kids but what I'm saying is they're focused on one thing. Yeah. All their money goes to one thing. They're doing a whole theme park. So it's 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 you know apples and oranges, you know. But yes, SoCal wise, there's a lot of great events out here. I like to always compare the haunt scene to the skaters of Dogtown. This is where like Dogtown. This is like this is like Dogtown. This is where it like started, and now look where it's at now. Yes. Look where skateboarding's at now. You know yeah. what I mean? Like this was like, and it's, it goes the same thing. It's like they were surfers, and you guys were scaring. Knee pads came in. Bam! What's a new technique? Yeah. Other techniques came in and shit. And look at sliding now. It's fucking going worldwide. Right. Going. Yeah, it's, it's been. It's crazy. Well, it's still um, it's still not everywhere. That's what I'm saying. It's no, it's not. Going. But it's it's gone all the way to the other side of the, the world it already. In, it was in Japan when we were still scary. Yeah. Early parts of our ghost town yeah, days. Uh, Scott Broadshow. I need to go to yeah. I need to go to Japan because I would love to see someone dressed as Godzilla sliding. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. You're so racist. That's no. I, I love Godzilla. Godzilla is my hero. Oh, well, you got the groups that, like I said, in so Germany and I'm sorry, Germany but if I were to go to Japan, they would think I'm Godzilla because I'm so fucking big. Well, just because. Well, I don't know how now, but back in the day, just being American, you were a celebrity. They treated you. They used to treat you. I don't know, man. I mean, there's other now, people. Now I don't know. bad reputation, so I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, fuck I know, right? But that's neither here nor there, you know. Bad to be an American now. But <laughs> anyways, thank you for making the trip out. Yeah. No, I mean, I know you didn't come I, down specifically for this, but it yeah. worked out. So there's a few things, yeah. A few th came down for a few things. So um, no, it's been good. I'm glad that we got to do this. I'm glad it wasn't virtual. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's fun and all, but. It's nice person. to not be it's interrupted. Fine. It's not nice. It's nice to not get a text from the wife. Your son's doing this. Yours, it's like, I'm on a podcast. Leave me alone, man. So we just had a lot of kids throwing at each other. What the fuck? Our book gets thrown. That was hilarious. I thought there was a ghost in his house because was that on camera? Did you keep? Yeah, that? we're filming. Wait, and all of a sudden, you see this thing go by behind him. He's like. It was that hilarious. was Bobby's episode, right? Uh, no, it was before that. What episode? I don't remember. I don't know if I yeah. even kept it in. You should have. You still, uh, you still have the footage, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. You need to just put that on your Instagram one day. Just. I, I have to find it. I don't remember what episode. She was trying to get his attention. She couldn't, so she threw a book. Oh, God. She'll, 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 she'll peek through the door, and, sh and she'll... You gotta respect it, though. It's game She time. won't say anything. She won't say anything. She'll just look until I look, and then she'll whisper it or whatever. Generally, she texts me, but that time, I didn't see her. We, your, I was so... I was so f no, my no, wife. wife, wife. Your wife yeah. did that. Oh, yeah. that's even I was funnier. so fixated on on the in the podcast and listening and I, who the hell was it? I don't know yeah. who it was. Anyway, but I was like, what the hell was that? All I, all I see is a fucking book go right behind me. 
And so later on, so he was like, dude, is that a fucking book? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> fucking about to look at me. So it's pretty funny. Later on, I go, I go, fuck you throwing books at me for so I'm trying to hit you, but it missed you. <laughs> <laughs> at least she was being honest. Well, yeah, like I'll she didn't work. come up with any excuse or anything. No, I tried to hit you. I would have hit you out. in the head too, dude. Because right it went, it went right by the back of his head. First time ever on behind the mat, someone falls unconscious. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that would have been fucking hilarious. If that would have gone, that would have gone viral. Oh, that'd have been great. Skyrocketed. Oh, great, right? You would have been bigger than just anything. God. Anything. Anything that's relevant today, you would have been big. Obi-Wan, you would have been bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> that that funny. was funny. It's true. like, yeah, obi Wan. Cool. But did you see that video of the guy getting hit in the head with the book? That shit was hilarious. And but it wasn't and it wasn't a prank, uh, and it wouldn't have been a prank thing. It would have been real thing. I would have told you, yeah, that video lives in my head right for you. Um, so, it's always uh, just a pleasure hanging out with you. You can see the joy in his face. I'm genuinely trying to be nice to him. He just never accepts yeah. it. Just to, let me let me love you. You know when when we went to Bonser Palooza though, right? He got to see his celebrity people, right? I got to see people that I haven't seen in like five six years. He knows I I'm a I'm a big. You'll probably see it at Midsummer. I'm a big fanboy. I am. Yes, he he's a total big. Oh, fan. Oh, I am. I got it's to just, see that's my, just the nerd my friend me. that was on Face Off, and I didn't even realize it, but. The guy that her boyfriend was on Face Off after her, so they were both on it. Yeah, is that the one you introduced me to? Yeah, Gina. Yeah, she introduced me. He's, he's like, oh yeah, she's, she's done all this, and I was like, really? He's yeah, got interest. She she made it to episode eight or nine. Yeah, and he came back. I met her at Renfair. Yeah, Gina. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, I didn't see her at first, and then all of a sudden I hear dates, and I'm like, looking around, I turn around, she's like. We were, right, we were right next to the Trick or Treat Studios booth. Yeah. Because we were looking for uh, Matt. Yeah. Good old Matty. Good old Matt. Love Matt. Good Karen old would see, Matty. Karen would see them. Oh, actually, this will be two weeks later. Matt who? Matt Funzini goes. You think Barrera? Barrera. We're not, not that Matt. Oh, different Matt. Okay, well, the other Matt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Matt. We'll JFC. Tomorrow, right? <laughs> oh, for Jurassic World. Yeah. What time, anyway? Uh, I told him five, because they have Lucio's thing. I'm, giving, I'm trying, kind of giving some... I don't Wait, know how room. long the podcast is going to be. He can go for a while, so yeah. you got to have... You, you, three hours. You might, you might yeah. want to go, but like, i got to go somewhere at this time, so if we can cut off at this time. I'll tell him, yeah, as long as I'm cut off, if I told Matt five... Because we did about we did about two-hour podcast like the other night. Yeah, I, so. um, yeah I, told, I told Matt five, so um, we'll see. And I'm going to be pretty buzzed, because I'm taking scotch over there. Nice! What, Hell yeah. Be, uh, whatever, I'll just tell you, talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, Matt yeah. invited me out. And I was movie theater. Come, just come out. I know you're doing hot X, but come out. Sit through that fucking. I'm he's just doing. He's doing a We're live night. stream tomorrow. I'm doing too. a night tour live stream tomorrow. Tomorrow night. And I've had that plan for about a month now. No disrespect. That's why I was like, hey, if I'm gonna get my one on one with them, it'd be tonight. That's all right. Uh, I'm only out here, you know, periodically. That's, that's okay. And I did a whole two hour podcast with you, didn't I? That's In person. I what's with the Griswold fucking you know setup you got going on? Hey, shitter's full. <laughs> shitter's full. <laughs> it reminds me of fucking uh, Christmas vacation. Yeah, it does. I love that movie. <laughs> shitter's full. Shitter's Fifty full. plugs plugged into one. <laughs> Just like Christmas stories. You said you're gonna bring your. Extension. Had you have not have said anything, we could have gotten this whole episode. No one would ever. <laughs> That's so rad. Get all fabulous, man. Hey, all right, I'm guys. Just walk. picture. Just picture the garage setup. That's what we got going on in here. Christmas vacation garage setup. Not as bad, but you just know. gotta lift the light bulb. <laughs> yeah. uh, behind the mask, uh, you can check out their podcast every week. Uh, except except last week. Except last or week. The week before. <laughs> um, check it out. When are you guys going uh, to like audio only? You guys plan on doing that soon or not? I do. Yeah, it's just dude. That's it's what 34, 35 episodes. I got. Are do. you gonna backtrack all? Are you gonna backlog all of them and put them up? Yep. It's actually, it's actually relatively easy. It's just turn them into. Well, oh, yeah, because that'll be Spotify. And we'll, well, still yeah, be yeah, doing, yeah. we'll still be doing the video, audio, video on. That's what YouTube. I do. So yeah, I, I, um, I just have to. Uh, it's just a lot. It is. It it's is a lot. It's a lot of work. You don't I, have to explain it to me. I know. I know. No, it's, it's I know, a lot of work. Yeah, and on top of my. On top of my, your, my your job life. and yeah. my, and then the side projects that I, I'm doing for JLE, it's like, it's fucking nonstop. You know, and then being a dad, so. And, you know, a husband every now and then. It's a lot of work. This is my dad right there. Yeah. It feels like that sometimes. 
That's a bitch. Stop acting like a child then, and it won't feel like that. I'm not a child <laughs> ever. I'm the child. You're the child. The child. The child. So should we call you Grogu? You're not green. The and you're, you're, star child. You're not green, and you don't have big ears. I went star child, so I'm going kiss now. I'm sorry. Star child. Um, no, so yeah, Behind the Mask, check it out every week. Uh, just about, <clears throat> they have some really great topics and great guests on talking about uh, haunt history and, and the behind the scenes of, of the haunt realm as well. Got um, some good history coming up. Yeah, and stay tuned in a few weeks. History. We got a very special podcast with him that you're not going to want to miss. That's going to have a ton of information about some future things coming up. So make sure to stay tuned with that. Um, really, though? Is it really going to have a ton of information? I'm kidding. So basically what he's saying I is... I feel like uh, we, then, I, then we film that for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not going to have information about doing something for the future, yeah. then I feel like we film that for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I got Chinese food out of it, so yeah. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I was a happy kid after that. He's just hot in that restaurant, remember? Yeah. Um, so yeah, check that out. Follow uh, Slider Dynamics on Instagram. Jay Lee. How do you spell Jay Lee? Jay Lee. Jay Lee. I was going to say that, and I was just like, I'm probably going to get it wrong, and he's going to make fun of me for it. So. <laughs> well, at least you don't call it Jay Lee. It's like, Jay Lee. Jay Lee. Gillette. Gillette. Yep. That's Jay-Lay. what I use every I day. I used to have Jay Lee on my license plate, and they would call it Jet Lee. Jet Lee. Jet Lee, yeah. yeah. Good Jet martial artist. Yes. He's um, good. Follow Jay Lee. Uh, go check out the YouTube channel. Subscribe. Behind the Mass Podcast. Part of the Madhouse Podcasting Network. I'm just the boss checking in every now and then. That's right. Actually, Spokes, man. Uh, actually, I want to share that with you too. You're the first, and we're gonna share it. We're actually gonna. I'm gonna redesign a whole new intro, and I'm actually gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk in the voice because I have a voice changer on my thing. So okay. I'm gonna talk like Ghostface. Well, we can talk about it afterwards. But yeah, that's but cool. That's a little preview. Cool. A little preview coming for a new intro for the podcast, but yeah, it's time. It's due for an update. Do it in 4K. Do it in 4K. I'll try. You don't try. Do it. I mean. Okay, bro. I'll try. My PC is not that strong. But it's pretty strong. <laughs> well, send me the file. I'll render it for there you. you. Go. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have you design it, man. You are hey, very together. talented. At we can that do it together. Stuff. Yeah, I'd, love to. I'd love to get like a good, like a, you know, animated one going in. Yeah, we can do it. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Anyway, follow us on Instagram at Nights of Horror. On Twitter at Nights of Horror. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. Make sure you Every time we put up a new video, do my outro. <laughs> He does this all the time. He always cuts me off. I did, I did it once. <laughs> did that no, you did it twice. You did it with the podcast we just shot. <laughs> That's not out yet. If you guys are still watching at this point, yeah. God bless you. <laughs> and I'll uh, see you guys next week for another episode of Shoot the Shit, Summer of Guest Edition.